everybody. Welcome to Twitch Rivals for the KO series for Capcom Fighting Collection. I will, I'm James Chan. I will be your host throughout this event, but you guys aren't here to see me. I know you guys want to see our captains for this event. And so it is with the deepest pride and greatest pleasure that I welcome to the KO series your captains, <laughs> Maximilian and Wooly. The intro's too wow. big, James. Wow. I feel too special. <laughs> right? What a build up. Oh my God. Yeah. Hello. How are you guys feeling about? this i know i know you guys are excited to play all the fighting games today yeah this is a classics collection of the the mid 90s capcom games that we love that i feel like every time me and max like end up talking we just rant about that era over and over again so it's awesome to be able to sit down and get some games in yeah, my apologies to anybody that's watching this and will be watching some of the matches. We might be gushing about how Bison is on a sled in the background of the snowball stage instead of the, the dope one frame link that just happened. That, that could happen every once in a while. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm also uh, super happy that James could to join us for this big event, considering that he might or might not have written the majority of game FAQs about a lot of these games back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, again, this is, I mean, this is part of our childhoods, right? That this is where we kind of fell in love with a lot of these oh, yeah. Capcom games. I mean, I, I had a four hour stream recently where I just gushed about the Darkstalker series and how much I love everything about that series. And, you know, obviously on Capcom Fighting Collection, there's like five different Darkstalkers games on there. Yeah. yeah. And I, I feel like uh, a lot of the streams uh, I've done with some old games, I'm trying to like show a new audience, like what the old games used to be like, how how like mean some of the input strictness could have been <laughs> back then, and trying to convey a lot of that. I hope that like by going through the the list today, you can you know really give a feel for like this is what it was like back then when you popped a quarter in and it was brutal you know but we love I can it echo, i can echo the same thing you get you get a lot of people that have never seen vampire savior before and they're just like why is this game so beautiful mm. what is going on <laughs> unfortunately yeah. blink blink and you'll miss the whole match because that game goes really fast oh, yeah. and, and like <laughs> game even games like red earth where it's like super beautifully animated i mean third strike is not the only amazingly animated capcom fighting game back then you know like red earth was cps3 and had uh the power to have sprites that were that detailed it's a real gem yeah it, it, and it's crazy because red earth was you know released in america i have never seen an actual red earth machine in the wild so there's like, one there's one at galloping ghost arcade that's the only one i've ever seen dang <laughs> yeah well, look before we get into these matches here let's talk about what we're going to see today so let's take a look at the format and it is going to be a 4v4 team competition so basically the teams will compete in four separate crew battles each using waseda style format so again for waseda style it's you know whoever wins between the two players the winner goes to the back of the line and the loser is actually eliminated and you keep doing that and rotating through all the players until they're all gone max and wooly are non-playing team captains for these waseda rounds they will play in a little bit but we'll get to that but each crew battle ends when every player on the same team has lost one set whereby the other team wins I'm not really down with this wasabi style. I'm confused, but go on, James. <laughs> it's 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 wasabi style because it's spicy, right? I mean, that's that's the thing. Uh, each Wasabi round will feature a different game from the Capcom Fighting Collection, so we will run an entire full Waseda set for each of these games that you see down here. Of course, it is Vampire Savior, AKA Darkstalkers 3. Then we go into Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix. Then we'll get a chance to see Red Earth, and then we will close it out with Hyper Street Fighter 2. Each head-to-head -head set will be a best of three, AKA first to two games, unless otherwise specified for the game. That might go pretty fast for some of these games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
And then afterwards, Max and, like I said, look, you guys are going to be able to see your boys play some matches here. Max and Wooly will play three head-to-head -head sets in three different games from the Capcom Fighting Collection. No repeats here. It's going to be Cyberbots, which is a best of five set. Then we get to see their uh, puzzle gaming skills here, of which I will be very critical of. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> in Super Puzzle Fighter Turbo here, of course, best of three, first of two as well. And then set three, if necessary necessary the chat them you guys at home will get to vote for one of the four games for, from the Waseda rounds for a best of five first of three set of course only if it is tied at that point and standard set rules if you've watched a lot of fighting game events losers of prior game cannot change character uh i'm sorry yeah loser can change character the winner cannot unless of course otherwise specified but Player who wins two of the three sets wins the show match. At the six million dollar point. Oh wait, that's canceled. Oh man. <laughs> D didn't we warn you about that, Matt? I thought, uh, I thought sorry, we I was that. getting yeah. hype. Oh man. Oh well. Look, right now, obviously, for each of the rounds, you'll be playing for points. And as you can see, in each round, it will be one point for each of the games. So the last team standing in each round wins that round. So obviously, we have a chance with four games to end up with a tie of two versus two. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, Max, it's not the six million dollars uh, ah. that we promised you, you know, promised you and Wooly here at first, but it is going to be 12.5k, and as you can see here, the winning team, every player will get uh, $1,500 uh, for the winning team, uh, which is basically 375 per player. Losing team, however, it's not bad. It's not bad, right? So $1,000 for the entire team, $250 per player and then of course the show match prizing right there an extra twenty five hundred dollars dealt out to both max and wooly in the form of fifteen hundred and one thousand dollars so you know it's kind of a nice little money match here on the line for you too. wait we could be getting paid for this this is amazing I, it's not just like <laughs> waxing poetic about the old get dull days you know sure <laughs> I mean, so look, there's a look, throw down Mm -hmm. If you guys want to wa you know, wax nostalgic about the games and want to donate the prize money to, like, the host of this show, you know, I'm totally down for that. So, you know, I'm just saying. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, little, thrown, I'm a little thrown for a loop by that, that third game that, uh, that looks like it's going to be a complete mystery here, which yeah, has yeah. us both confused, if yeah, anything, like, right? I could, I could feel Wooly's confusion through the panel that I couldn't see him through. And we yeah. were like... <laughs> We were definitely ready for something else, and then we yeah. just got thrown into the loop. I mean, oh, man. Vampire Hunter would be fun, but you know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. see. I mean, obviously, we haven't mentioned who is on the teams over Not here. Not yet. So uh, let's take a look at this. Yeah, I think I yeah. know some of these guys over here. I think let's I'm familiar. go. It's a lineup. And we've got on Team Max. So Max, you have Silent Scope. I think you picked him just for Hyper Street Fighter 2, right? Silent Not, Scope, obviously. Well, you know, we, we I got a backstory with like almost everybody on here. So yeah, Silent Scope has been an active community member in my stream for arguably seven to like eight years. And I remember when he was like starting to play ST and a, a lot of games on Fightcade and CVS2 and getting really good at it. And yeah, I'm like, if there's like a classic like retro fighting game player, like Silent Scope deserves a spot here. And I know he streams a lot of this stuff, so I really wanted to include him. Obviously, me and Justin do a podcast together. I don't know if Justin actually plays any video games, so we'll see. And uh, <laughs> he's all right, Cross, I heard. <laughs> maybe. JM Cross, obviously another content creator. I've been in a couple shows of his, such a, an incredibly cool dude, picks up a lot of fighting games really fast, is crazy good at them. And one of my favorite Third Strike streamers, as well as fighting game streamers, uh, automatic is this guy has some great tech in classic fighting games super fun to watch all right so wooly you, you max has set the bar here do you have all of your stories for your teammates here so i mean yo <laughs> I, I expect deep lore here <laughs> look I, I posted the gif on twitter it's the order of the white lotus from the end of avatar <laughs> coming together you know yo. um 
No, I got some champions. Lord Jimmy Bones is he, he's one of the OGs that goes way back, and he's uh, you know a strong uh, super turbo contender that has just always been you know holding down Montreal, holding down Canada, placing really well with that, and like mm -hmm. is a, one of the strongest ST players that I know. Definitely one of the homies. We we stream together a bunch, and uh, always a fun time. Best of on the, the the classic frenemy that uh, has. <laughs> Uh, uh, showed up on the channel and had a really great time showing us how VSAV works, right? So Darkstalkers mm -hmm. 3, the ins and outs of that, we we learned through him, and um, he's the best VSAV player I know. Um, so absolutely want to get him on board for a game that uh, has half of the collection dedicated to Darkstalkers, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, of course, then there's Kizzy. Uh, one of the goats, classic. He is an anime god, but not just an anime god. Because he's uh, a real gene. He's got the fundamentals. He's got the the reaction times, the stuff. I just believe in him and his spirit and his infectious smile. I think he's going to take us to, to new heights today, playing some of these classics. Um, and then Art is who doesn't know Arturo? Shout out Sabin, right. one of the one of the legends. Streaming uh, is a blow up. Everything's a blow up. Ah, you know, we, we 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 love art and the opportunity to get someone like him on board who also knows the classics, plays them, loves them inside out, and will give you full frame breakdowns of everything on every monitor possible. He's a yeah. technician and a wizard, and I love him. Uh, I love it that Furby has officially Arturo's become the monitor man. At yeah, this point. yeah. Wait for the report. Yeah, yeah. and also you know just the. Uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to the best of on as well. Cause you know, he's obviously the guy who runs the hold back to block, uh, the, the documentary, uh, series he creates. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Hold back to block shirt right there. He's created so many wonderful documentaries. I know Max, you were part of the KI documentary, right? It just made a CEO documentary, like just in time for that big tournament. Yeah. Crazy yeah, hard work. He, he creates a lot of great content. So definitely, you know, head out to his stream and check him out and everything. And, keep abreast of all the stuff that he's doing there but again a good set of players here and i'm glad you guys you know definitely did your research here to figure out who would be best to defeat the opponents so much to the point that max predicts that uh you know best is gonna defeat his whole team <laughs> I, want, I just want some good games man that's what i want <laughs> Uh, you you got Justin Wong, baby. You're you're gonna be all right. <laughs> I, I do a hey. podcast with the guy. We do movie reviews. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> movie review, dude. He's just gonna say he loves everything, right? Isn't that the... <laughs> yeah, Justin and, is, and, like... and is shockingly good at everything too? It's really weird. <laughs> In between the fighting games at Chinatown Fair, learning all those puzzle games and stuff, right? Yeah. Oh man, yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, I've, I've even heard he like he's like excellent at all these puzzle games as well. But look, I know everybody wants to see the actual fighting game action here. So let's take a look at the order for the Waseda style here of the first game. As you can see here, it's Team Max versus Team Wooly, and this first game is going to be Vampire Savior. It looks oh, like God. if this is the order that we got, I mean, are we really going to get Ooh. Justin going up against <laughs> of course we are. Uh, Esteban? right away that Dang. is gonna be woo, okay that is gonna be a good one and you know i'm curious like obviously a lot of these guys excellent fighting game players all around i'm really curious to see how they all will perform in vampire savior i'm really curious how many uh how many john tal banes we're gonna see going into vampire <laughs> savior <laughs> oh Oh. Yeah, he's definitely one of like, you know, if you don't play the game a ton, you can get pretty far pretty fast with that character. That's right. Yeah. I think Justin plays Talbane, right? I think he does. So is yeah. this, this going to be a Talbane mirror to start? Oh, I mean, maybe? He's got the Ganajin, he's got the just the Beast Cannon, and he's kind of got those Dunchucks, but we don't talk about those. <laughs> yeah, talk about one of the coolest moves you never see. You never see it, but it's so cool. The Wolfman yeah. pulls out Dunchucks. Oh. <laughs> wow that's starting out with a bang right there though for real yeah and then of course as we mentioned since it's waseda style after whoever wins that first one the winner will go to the back of the line and then we will see exactly silent scope versus jimmy bones then crofts versus kizzy k then uh automatic aka jibbo uh against nyc Furby, aka saban aka arturo sanchez he has like 90 names and then they'll just keep rotating around until one team is officially the victor 
delicious wasabi style. Let's so. let's see it. I believe in that order. I believe in putting the the nukes out first. You know, <laughs> I like it. Now, now, so here's the question for Max, right? Obviously, Justin's on your team, and he probably has the capability of beating the best of on. But if he beats the best of on, he also destroys your predictions. So my who prediction are you rooting gets, for? My prediction gets blown up, you know. But we'll, we'll see, right? Like maybe, maybe I'll sacrifice one to get the other. Maybe that's the way this uh. Wasaita style stuff works. I'm going to sacrifice one of my smaller bets to get the big fat reward. Let's hope that works out. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad Vampire Savior is first, though. Uh, of of all the games, like mm -hmm. we're ending on what is technically the beginning of a uh, a huge legacy of like classic fighting game retro communities, which is Vampire Savior, and then ending on the next biggest one, which is arguably like Street Fighter Two with like Hyper Street Fighter Two Turbo Anniversary Edition, and that's a super unique version of the game that has only been released like a couple of times in an official capacity. And everything in between is like uh, almost a toss up. Like there's a lot of games mm -hmm. in there that I really don't know who's going to take what. And VSAV in particular as well is uh, it's a game that, you know, after Darkstalkers like went through its two and three iterations, when it got to that point, they went all in on the speed, all in on the mechanics. It's kind of insane. Like as you're going to you're going to see just how nutty it can get with some, some of the mechanics and like the uh, air footsies that you play at times and things that they kind of then backed off from in later games because oh, yeah. it's almost like VSAV <laughs> went too far but everyone loves it, you know? So yeah, starting out with a bang is great to show off that. VSAV is that game that, you know, when everyone talks about fighting game balance, they're like why don't you make everybody broken? That's VSAV. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and especially Vampire Saviors from that era of Capcom games where, as we're getting started, we're watching the best of end. end. Yes. Uh, and he's going yeah. up against Justin. This game moves okay. so fast. Wolf Mirror, here we go. Yeah, we predicted this. So oh, Justin man. is on uh, Gold Tal Bane, and best of end is that using uh, regular gallon. colored gallon. So I think I kind of, I heard your brain break a little bit when I was describing how push blocking works to you the other day, Max. Dude, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's the most insane thing. Regular uh, games will have you push block by just pressing two oh, buttons while blocking. In this, you have to piano all yes. six buttons. And, and the it's first, not even guaranteed, right? No. The first two do nothing. The third I button gives you a 25% chance of pushing them away. And then each button after that increases that by 25 right. to 50 to 75 oh, to 100 on your that. sixth I button. Same idea. And I, right. I remember the, the day you told me this, I actually tried it online and it, it worked like one third of the time. And I was just like, this is the weirdest. No wonder people don't do this consistently because it actually is random by chance. Yeah. And furthermore, the button you end on that makes it happen if it's light they push it they push back a little bit and if it's heavy they push back full screen no. so like it's a it's a whole wild mechanic taking place in just your blocking you know that, that like it? i don't think any other game was that aggressive about it ever yeah vampire savior is a, a super unique fighting game not super long combos in this game for most characters okay, okay, just okay. moves at a ballistic speed we're seeing right now justin is a little bit ahead and if you're confused by the way the match works wow, uh and the rounds okay. yes ah. there is no like round yeah. two it carries over directly from one life bar to the next so the better you do in the in the first health bar like the easier it is to secure the victory in the next correct you're referring to the impact damage system is that <laughs> What they call it in this game? They, yep, they re they, it's the impact damage system where, that yeah. so Japanese to give it a name, you know? <laughs> Ooh, After your behind. first round nope. win, the life that's left on your bar is still nice. okay. there, and then you uh, you have All two right. full life bars to play Can't with. Exactly. A lot, which is good. I gotta keep this so on the ground. Justin right. taking the first round. He's oh, rocking uh, the Gold Wolf right now. Gold we wolf. were also calling John Talbane. Uh, John Talbane, which is this character, it's but you might little, notice that his like, name is Gallon. Yeah. Yeah. A, like, a huge, a huge deal with bad, the classic so versions of Capcom fighting games is that names change between the English and Japanese versions, and several Dark Soccer's characters are called different things in the U.S. Yeah, if you thought the the days of claw dictator nice. okay. boxer and stuff were confusing this game the names of the games themselves and like half the roster all change from region to region nice. it's it's really nutty yeah i keep having a i'm reminding myself like rikuo and what's his all bad what is that yeah 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 Either way, uh, you're going to see a lot of rushdown in this match and a lot of, like, controlling of neutral. I remember when I played John Talbane right, back when Darkstalkers so. Resurrection came out that this character has really good rushdown. He's easily one of the best characters in the game. But he also good has box. a lot of, like, I just control neutral with, like, the... What is ah, what is the, the wolf dash nice thing called, Wolf? Beast Cannon. 
Beast Cannon, thank you. Yeah, Beast Cannon is just like, hey, I, I now control neutral. Uh, it goes many directions. And he has that full screen super. It's quite good. Yeah, you kind of saw that Beast Cannon be revitalized in the form of Blanca's V, v Trigger 2 later on in uh, Street oh, Fighter V. That's a good right? call. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's there that's a Beast Cannon resurrection there. But in this case, he, you can do it in all directions. And in the corner, you can make it unblockable even. So, really? Does it go to like an overhead yeah. or something? You can just you can go wild, and and all five hits are taking like half your life really off. It's, it's, the it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, That's it's crazy. Yeah. We're seeing Justin control that space quite a bit with the full screen, uh, full screen super. He's doing it over and over again, trying to catch him in the air or something. But, yeah, yeah. Justin doing a very good job of keeping the life lead. The thing about him too is uh, his forward dash is a hop, so it goes into instant overheads as well. Uh. You know, a bit like you see how, um, if you're familiar with Morgan and other fighting games, she kind of floats up when she does that. Yes. Uh, in in VSAV, a lot of characters have dashes that like make them airborne and like nice. are a little bit Punish. weirdly not grounded, you know? Yeah. Um, it looks like Bestabon's being a bit more uh, ah, conservative jump, with nice his job, bar here, and Justin's it. just right. using it all because, oh. my God, man, in this Ooh, game, you get so much meter to work with. That's, yeah, that's up to 99 it. if you're willing to build it. Up yeah. to 99 bars. I, Absolutely. I, I wish I could ever see that in an actual match. In. Oh, the way, very good, very good match to Justin taking that one with uh, okay. with Gold Gallon or right. Gold Talbane. Guess up, guess up. Okay, okay. It looks like my prediction might have already been wrong. Oh, okay, man. okay. <laughs> I need to see the, the 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 Twitch rival stare emote in the chat now because that's. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, uh, someone asked me, how many meters can you build up in this game? And I was like, 99. <laughs> like, as what? many as yeah. you want. <laughs> I feel like we were just talking about the mechanics of our first match, and it's over. Yep, <laughs> yep. It I believe so in Esteban. I believe we got to... It's important. It's crazy, because I think Vampire Savior is like the only game that you can do a whole two out of three set and fit it in that Twitter two minutes and 20 seconds. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <it's laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, I don't know, Willie, how you feeling? You I, boy best I, I, you know, okay, all right, it's a lot, we got some other games coming up, we got things going on, <laughs> you know, we'll just have to wait and see, but, no, it's, it's but not, it's Wolf not, is, uh, over yet, but, no, it's uh, <laughs> not over yet, but Wolf is a beast, literally and metaphorically in this context, um, all right. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, it's crazy also seeing a game with, like, so many jump-ins where it's it's okay and common because, like, you can block in the air, you can do strings in the air, you can block someone's entire string and then hit a button before you yeah. both land. So jumping at people is totally a-okay. It's you know? totally okay. because And the speed at which those jumps take place make it pretty hard to react to that. Like, even in offline settings, like, the, the how quickly characters move around is just truly insane in a game like Vampire Savior. Yeah, I think the, the 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 standard counter is a grounded button becomes unblockable if you're in the air, mm -hmm. and really? that's oh, about that's it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that's like one of the whole like little tricks of the game that you can ca cause the opponent to block your entire air string in the air and then land and hit them on the ground with an oh, air block. you can do move. magic series on the way up uh, to to all yes. the way down. Yes, yeah. I've never seen that. Holy hell! And once they yeah. stop in midair, there's no uh, delay. You can immediately jab them once it's your turn after they do their magic series and you block it in the air. Wow, it's that sounds cool. Air footsies and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. Again, it's not over yet. I know Bestabon, we talked about him as being one of the hardcore yep. vampire savior players, but obviously we still have a lot of chances here because it is a team effort here. So a lot of the other players going to have the ability to try to pick up the slack from where Bestabon was defeated by Justin Wong. And as you can see, Silent Scope versus Lord Jimmy Bones coming up next. Yeah, I'm a little curious who Silent Scope is going to pick for this. Uh, mm -hmm. I played him a little bit the other day in some classic Darkstalkers, not Vampire Savior, and he was playing a pretty mean Victor. So mm -hmm. I'm curious how much we're going to get those giant meaty specials out on the screen. Well, I know him as a, uh, again, an ST like god and i know that jimmy bodes as well as one of the street fighter 2 st gods as well very classic and and strong at that game i believe in the fundamentals of both of these players to adapt to a game this fast and nutty mm -hmm. uh i hope that uh jimmy can get some momentum going come on <laughs> jimmy 
between all, all of these games, like classic Capcom games move at a speed that like the, the skill set sort of can carry between a lot of them, you know, where it feels like you, if you pick up one, you sort of get the, the way they feel because they all have some pretty similar feel to them in mm -hmm. some ways. So even if you're like a classic ST player, I almost feel like you're used to the speed of that game and the cheap stuff that's in it. Man, you're going to just pick up these other games. No problem if you put a little bit of time into it. Oh, yeah. No, that OG like button just goes off in your head and you're like, OK, I, got, I can feel my way. Exactly. Around this. I see what's going on. Absolutely. I mean, if, if, if Silent Scope goes with Victor in this game, I mean, he's a fan of low tier characters. I mean, he is. You is know, Victor I, really bad in Darkstalkers 3? He's not. He, well, it's one of those games where you can talk about how Anacharis and Victor are like the two bottom tier characters. But then you've got players out there like Mighty Mar who was like winning tournaments with Anacharis yeah. all over the place. So, you know, it's like they're the worst, but, you know, mm -hmm. they can still definitely do damage. In some situations, when you put that much time into a low tier character, you're going to catch people off guard. They're not going to know what the hell they do. They're not going to know what, how you block this stuff. They become the knowledge check character. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, they're low tier if you know what it is and how to stop it. <laughs> if you don't, good luck. Yeah. yeah and, and, and the reason why I bring up that low tier, because obviously Silent Scope is, you know, near and dear to my heart, playing Cami and Super Turbo, carrying on that Cami torch and Cami. Yeah, she's. Good in a lot of other games. Super Turbo is not one mm -hmm. of them. <laughs> yeah, and seeing Cammy be good in a game like that is like really impressive just because you don't see her that often at a high level. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's definitely one of those knowledge check characters where it's like, oh, she's going to get this cross under and her kick is going to go in the wrong direction and hit behind <laughs> her or something like that. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Ooh, and and that is one of Silent Scope's specialties, too. But, I mean, I'm sure we'll be able to see that once we get to the Hyper Street Fighter 2. But, again, with vampires. And, you know, the interesting thing, too, is that Darkstalkers, between Darkstalkers, the vampire savior, I mean, if it wasn't for the sprites, you would almost not even know that it's the same series, right? The, the games, the gameplay changes so drastically. So, yeah. I'm mm. curious to see what Silent Scope is going to go with. But, L do you know who Lord Jimmy Bones plays in? In Vampire Savior? Well, so last time we played and had some uh, uh, some casuals, I remember he was he was feeling his way around the roster, and he ended up liking Fish, kind of like I did. He ended up liking Allbath, you know, Rakuo. Um, and, and doesn't Allbath have like a, an unblockable setup? Allbath has a couple of them, and yeah. there's a, a lot of it is based on the projectiles that are gonna. Um, yeah, stun you, make you open for a hit, and then you can either uh, jump in, get a full combo. He's got the gas, which also stuns you, the the sonar, and then, of course, there's the bubble. And if the you can bubble. get some corner traps going, the corner pressure with uh, fish is some of the strongest in that game. Another you know? note about that character, what makes him so top tier, he's strangely attractive for a fish man. Strangely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see the wind pose where he flips yeah. onto the lotus? Incredibly yeah. attractive. Uh, well, shout out to I, the I old cartoon. I have my requel poster over here, but you can't see it, so mm -hmm. it's a little bit off camera over here. <laughs> U.S. Yeah, Cartoon Morrigan, the best Dude. render ever. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I mean, no, that, like, like we were saying though, that bubble just literally cannot be blocked. Even if you are in block stun, like he's doing a chain combo and you're blocking it, if the bubble hits you, you get trapped, and he gets basically a free hit afterwards. And then, of course, the Dark Force uh, mechanic in that game that everyone has, their own little install, their own world, um, makes a huge difference for the characters. And in, in uh, Fish's case, he can swim and start surfing. And as he's surfing, he has armor oh, on everything. And then he can jump off of it and do mix-ups. So it all depends. Yeah, so he he was designed to be kind of like the extreme Dalsum, like the zoning master. And that's not how it kind of turned out. But the problem is if Sasquatch can rush him down, like there's like literally nothing an actress can do. <laughs> it's wow. kind of crazy. So we're seeing, uh, we're seeing absolutely okay. a uh, tried and true low tier versus top tier right here. And Silent Scope was whooping my butt with these big active normals, regardless of how bad Victor is. This might be a big knowledge check character, but we'll see. Yeah, if Jimmy can get it started with Sasquatch, I... Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I think it's... Sasquatch is, like, an even better rushdown than Talbane, right? Yeah, yeah, and he's playing, so that's something I feel like uh, he's, he's being a little conservative right now, and you kind of need to just start getting in there. Um, and, yeah, that dash is a particularly uh, excellent way of getting in and then connecting that into any of his uh, magic series. 
So uh, last night, I'm gonna I'm gonna give, I'm gonna spoil some stuff. Hopefully, Jimmy isn't watching and he's gonna take the strats. But Silent Scope was blowing me up with these empty jump setups with Victor that were leading into Super, and he has like a spinning pile driver, huge damage Super in in even previous Dark Soccer's games. I wonder if okay. he has it here. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with uh, with again Victor and 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 what competitive victor looks like but <laughs> it's the sense these things you've like never seen because dark yeah. Darkers is a game that's like figured out right yeah and, like know what's good and the butt there it is <laughs> i don't think he's gonna meme it and go okay, for butt okay, grab i don't think let's we're go. gonna see that today he, he depending on how one, comfortable yeah. silent scope it's is feeling he, he might he okay. just might so that's the first one. game goes to silent scope that's my boy oh he got the cheeks <laughs> he got the cheeks he got the cheeks not the cheeks man Okay. Oh, we got a switch. He was liking QB as well when we when we messed around. Yo, Jimmy. What? You want me to do a seven? Covering the roster. There's quite a few. I, I would love to go through. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. Let's oh, go. Oh, there we go. Fish it up, baby. Let's see it. All right. I want the gas. I want to see you surfing. Mix-ups off this. You're gonna get this man Just trouble. speaking outside of the match, I love the color in this game. Like the mm -hmm. use of like the artistic direction. It everything looks so pretty in Dark Soccer's three. Absolutely. I've described the fetus of God as the worst and best stage in all of fighting games. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, absolutely. There was that empty jump setup horrifying. we just talked about. Mm hmm And there it is again. Oh my god. Oh, gotta get out of there. Oof. Okay. Yep, set it up. And then once you get zoning with fish, like you can really lock him down. He, he needs he needs lots of meter to like use the best of his uh, his projectiles though. Like all that staggering stuff. Yeah. Like very sh like the range on that is very short. It goes full screen once you're doing the ES version. Bubble. Okay. So is that just there? Totally it is unblockable. Yes. Oh my! It is. Does it cost meter though? Yes. That's a okay. that's a one bar move. ES move. Nice. Silence Scope taking the first round with the uh, command grab super. All right, and here it, it comes. What? What is the? Uh, oh, it pops right before it's full screen. How it's weird is that? It's not full screen. Exactly. That's why the best way to use it is to corner the opponent and then do it on uh, wake up. How funny. Still, it's a good neutral tool, right? Like you're Absolutely. just gonna approach right inside it. It just it costs a bar to get that neutral going, and he's got a lot uh, that he can do with that bar as well. Do you remember um, if there's a lot of like big three bar or two bar supers in this game? They mostly are pretty cheap, right? There are. So there's a weird thing. I mean, as some of the other games too, like like a uh, uh, Vampire Hunter had like a uh, three bar super for for fish. There's one that's it's just an overhead. It's a normal right. that's an overhead, and it costs three bars and it doesn't do anything, um, huh. and it's only available on certain colors too. I remember that when I, I mean, even when this game came out as Darkstalkers 3 on PlayStation, right? Oh, good mm -hmm. command grab. Like, a lot of the level 3s weren't really worth it. I was like, man, this is expensive, but it doesn't do any damage? What's going on? Yeah, and, and then, yeah, and, and looking it up later on, it's like, no, everyone agrees this move is worthless. Just useless. Don't, don't ever use it if you're trying to play competitive. It. Getting real close here. Silence Scope taking it with the trade. Good go. stuff with Victor, man. This is a character you don't see too often, so we're getting yeah. a little bit of a treat here. Okay. Nice. All right. Let's go. I think there's only one level three in the game, which is what Anacharis. He's got like three different levels of the curse super. So I think his is the only one where he has a level three. And I know, like. He does, go ahead. Does, little, he, does he have the basketball thing? Or is that another game? No, Lord Raptor has the basketball. That's hoop, that one. Right? Mm. Where he grabs you and dunks you as a basketball. Yeah. Uh, also, just for fun, Anacharis does have the wind pose that if you hold light kick he starts spitting out coins and you can control the little guy on the bottom of the screen and try to catch the coins like, <laughs> wow that's some game game faqs information that only james would have of somebody that has written a lot of game what? faqs back in the day that's jay chensor speaking to us right <laughs> yeah. now yeah oh man wow yeah, the, okay. no, that, again vampire savior is a game that you can tell the developers just put so much love into it there's so many goofy easter eggs in this game and it's why I love the game, like, without, with reckless abandon, basically. Yeah, in, in this era of Capcom games, it's actually super unique because we get the third versions of these games. This is the third versions of Dark Starkers. You get the third version of, like, Street Fighter Alpha and even Street Fighter 3 Third oh, Strike. They end up being the best, one. most loved versions, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I just, yeah, I just love the sounds of it as well. The, are you lady? Fight. <laughs> like, all that, that, that weird announcer. There's like a dinosaur screaming when you tech throws. Like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you're right. True. <laughs> totally. 
Okay, so we got Kizzy. Uh, Kizzy's on Dimitri. Interesting pick. I think Dimitri's pretty decent in this game. Uh, gonna play a stand standard Shoto, but not that standard with some of the the, the ways his, his teleport into drill works, certainly. Yeah. Yeah, Jamcroft's using some really good normals here. I haven't seen QB in quite a long time outside of her absolutely grotesque command grab where she, like, dies and gets reborn. There's some weird stuff sure. in this game. Sure. Now, are we going to get a Midnight Bliss going? I don't know. That would be <laughs> <That's> cool. <laughs> Risky, but, you know, that'd be yeah. cool. No! Oh, at Oh boy, Kizzy. He... <laughs> oh man, oh, Kizzy feeling it. Oh god, oh, god is VSAP just my team's game? What's going oh, on? No. Oh no, okay, here activation. we go. Okay. Activate. Do it. It's your world. Demon Ukraine. Makai life. Yeah, for anybody asking in the chat, this game oh, does man. have rollback. He did it! Oh. He actually did it! Reborn anew! <laughs> oh, no. oh, the goop! Oh my... Wow, Jam Cross not only putting on a show with QB, also showing some pretty good rushdown. He's like, I want to see some animations. Let's see some of this crazy stuff. I'm just going to do it. Oh, Kizzy's man. Kizzy's happy. Look at him. He's yeah. having a great time. <laughs> QB just diving in with impuni impunity. Oh my god, okay. Someone in the chat's like, this game's gross. <laughs> like, Ugh. Oh, it gets real gross. Oh, it at gets times. weird, man. This is this, and this is why this game is so beloved, right? It's it's absolutely one of the oh, weirdest God. fighting games there is, just on a visual style. Yeah, again, I I know that it's like technically a, a competitively banned stage, but like if we can show them fetus of God at some oh, point, we have to. Like, it's so oh. yeah. This is this is a this is a love of the game sort of day. I don't even know if we can pick the stage, but if mm -hmm. we can, that'd be great. Oh nice. Um, the other thing too, I remember like when we just corner, messed bro. around and we're watching like the how fireballs clash in this game. Oh dude, it's so weird. It's, like they on, don't baby. clash. They just push against each other depending on unique properties. Yeah. You know, like there's just no standardized like this plus this equals neutralized. So I think we just saw Kizzy try to land a, uh, a midnight bliss. He just yep. said, uh, "Come on, baby," which is like <laughs> what he says. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the range is too slow, too too short. Oh man. Is, is that is that a raging demon input? Do you know? It is a raging demon input. Um, okay. it's, it, it's raging demon like, I believe. It's not exactly raging demon. Gotcha. It's one of those like four buttons and emotion type things. Exactly. Thing. Exactly. QB with the rush well, down right here. My gosh, faster? these buttons. EXDP to get out of there. EX demon cradle. Oh, you're oh, ew. Oh my god. Aerial command grip. Uh, wow. Birthed from the egg. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Dude, JM Cross, Dude, I, I trusted him, right? That's what it was. I was trusting him. He picks up <laughs> yeah, games real quick. Yo. Cool. Prison break. <laughs> 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 uh, yo, Max. Okay, you put a team together, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, look, was, your I, team, Max. Uh, it's funny because like, I wouldn't even say that your okay? team. <laughs> <laughs> I went for the heart. I went for the QB heart. is definitely <laughs> one of the strongest characters in this game. Like, is she she's really? Top okay, three. she's super top rushed three. down. Great moves. Okay, I did. I actually mm. did not know. I always thought like I always knew she was good, but I always see at high level like Bishamon and Felicia and Sasquatch and stuff. Funny yeah. story. I was like, oh, if I'm, I'm going to play Vampire Savior again, I'll mm -hmm. play Bishamon. No oh, yeah. problem. Every one of the chats like, no, no, don't do it. Don't play Bishamon. I'm like, why not? He looks fun. He's got like all these hit confirms. Everyone's like, that stuff is super hard to do. Like crazy <laughs> execution. I'm like, really? Really? Okay, I'll just, oh, wow, okay. He's like, you'll lose your mind if you try to do it. I'm like, I just watched Daigo do cool stuff back in the day. Give me a break. Yeah, the, the thought is, oh, well, Daigo plays this character. I'm exactly. sure I can, you know, see what's going on. Like, no, dude. No, is that stuff is hard. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, again, I mean, uh, I think, what is it? Uh, Raptor is considered the best. And then I think it's QB and then Sasquatch. I think that's the top three right there. A funny note, I think in I think in one of the versions of the game that's actually in this collection, it's not Raptor, T-O-R. I got contacted by an old friend of mine that worked at Capcom, and he's like, yes, it's actually a spelling error. It's R-A-P-T-E-R. -E in like the English version of Vampire Savior, he's like, I'm like, wait a minute, is this like a Bernstein bear sort of thing where we never realized <laughs> it's it's not Raptor, it's Raptor? He's like, no, it's a spelling error. It was just there in the original game in the arcade. I'm like, oh, okay. Thought I was losing my mind there for a second. <laughs> or you just go Japanese and get Zabel. Zabel, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lord Zabel, yeah. Zabel Zarak or something, you know. <laughs> I'd love yeah. to find out, like, w like what the thought was behind some of the name changes and such. You know, was it just a uh, sounds a bit cooler this way? We're going to go with this or that, you know? 
I think the smartest yeah. change was Gallon to John Talbane. John Talbane. Yeah. Such yeah. a cool name. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, I would actually say I definitely prefer the American names over the Japanese names for most of the characters uh, in Darkstalkers, you know. So uh, interesting. Like, I know, like, what is it? BB, BB Hood, Baby Bonnie Hood is Baby Bonnie Hood. Boletta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think yeah. both of those names are amazing, too. Boletta's pretty yeah. cool. Um, I like Rikuo over Allbath quite a bit, mm -hmm. for sure. Speaking of Boletta, uh, arguably one of my favorite female fighting game characters in history. Just like the, the, just by design, just like aesthetically, we want to create this like cute little Red Riding Hood character, but she's an assassin and she like <laughs> murders vampires for money. I'm like that is such a sick idea, dude. I love it. And so he's not in this game. Attacks. Yeah, all of her attacks look like she's being innocent, like reaching for butterflies, but she's Yeah, but they're all you. murderous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the character's not in this this version of the game, but uh, Max, I know you and I both agree, oh, like Donovan is one the, of the, the sickest. Man. Yeah, I just, he's, he's practically a JoJo character, you know? And like when I first saw him, I was like, is this like an alternate reality Dan that like doesn't suck? You know, <laughs> yeah. like, is it cool, Dan? Like, what's the deal? And then... I just love his like descriptive story or like, visual story where it's this like little girl following him around. Mm -hmm. And that little girl is apparently like the savior of humanity or something mm -hmm, like that. So mm -hmm. he's protecting her. I'm like, this is cool. He's half vampire and he's cursed. Yeah. And, and there's a there's a there's a uh, an alt version of him on, on the Saturn version where you can play as him wearing like Dimitri's kind of body as D. I did. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. The fire up the Saturn version of this game. We got automatic uh, sticking with Sasquatch. Another great pick. Oh, and oh, uh, oh, it yeah. looks like it looks like our Arturo's got some stuff on lockdown right here. Do, Let's go, a very, Art. Very solid Dimitri. Come on, baby. Bring it back. Yeah, the zoning with Dimitri is pretty decent. He can do mid-air fireballs, grounded fireballs. They recover very fast. Keep the pressure on with the ES drill as well. E ES, not EX, but yeah. anyway. <laughs> It's funny because it you know says, it like, is. when you finish it, it says S special. I'm like, oh, E mm. special. Yeah, one little, one little tidbit nice. I'm just going to throw in here really quick is that, you know, if you watch uh, Seth in Street Fighter, oh, uh, in Street Fighter 5, okay. right. he has... I'm He's got attack. like the, the the mad cradle, the mad drill. It's all Dimitri yep. stuff. Yes. Yeah. There's there's several fighting game characters throughout, like not even just Capcom games, but other games that mm -hmm. literally use yeah, Dimitri as like yeah, a yeah. gameplay reference and then go from there. Something uh, like unique to Darkstalkers as well right. is like the follow up attack system when you land someone yeah. on when you OTG somebody. Yeah. Like you can, yeah. So when you get a sweep, you can choose to like follow up, get a, a, a an on the ground hit, or if it whiffs, you're kind of right on them for a wake up mix up situation. Yeah, and and most of you can do ex versions of it too that add like a little more damage. Around this time frame, it's funny because it's sort of like a 3D era move. Other games mm -hmm. like Tekken Virtua Fighter sort of like came up with it, and then yeah. some Capcom fighting games, including Cyberbots, adopt it, and now characters have these big OTG like hit you on the ground and beat you up specials. Which again can backfire if you're if you're relying too much, but Wow that, that rush down. Yo, Art, let's go. Wow, great wake up. So yeah, Sasquatch has near unreactable dash ins that are overheads. Excellent pressure. Stay on him. There we go. And you don't reset the round positioning. Yeah, he stays in, in the corner oh, and he holds oh, it from the beginning. Let's go. Oh let's Art go. is getting in there. Oh, hey! my Seven! Yo, Arturo, oh, baby. Sweet. My bad, my bad. Hell yeah. Yeah, automatic. Like, just for <sighs> us, like, this just happened, I feel like. We're, we're going to get these matches that happen so quickly. Like, I feel like we were just able to describe what is even going on with these characters, much less the game, and it's actually over to the point like, where we were telling production, are you ready to see how fast <laughs> Vampire Savior goes? It's really quick. Round two starts in the corner. You lose round one in the corner, you wake up, and you just stay there. You yeah. live there and die there. <laughs> I, I, I remember telling people about this, about classic fighting games, where there's not a lot of, like, comeback mechanics in these old games. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a snowball effect, where the rich get richer when you're mm -hmm. doing really well, and it just, like, carries right over, and you do even better, even better. Now you have more meter. It's like, man, this is crazy. <laughs> and you're still holding on to all that life that you never lost from the first round as exactly. well, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was that was good corner bullying. I I like it. Solid. And All right. I, I'm kind of excited right now because I mean, obviously, uh, Arturo, last member on Wooly's team here, he's got to do the whole reverse OCV at this point in time, right? So yeah, so, so it routes back around in in the Waseda style, right? So technically, Justin now is going to up. fight Furby. 
New York versus New York, the classic matchup. I think it's Justin versus Arturo. <laughs> yeah, it, the, yeah, not quite that anymore. But okay, true. Canada now, Canada. But now I'm. <laughs> you can say it's Chinatown Fair Classic, right? Sure. There you go. There you go. Because now I have to root against Canada. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. So yeah, yeah Justin I, I, and yeah. Art are are arguably some of the best players at some other games, including like Marvel vs. Capcom One. I've seen that several exhibition matches in several tournaments of these guys going at it, just because they grew up playing a lot of these games together. So this is going to be pretty exciting. But yeah, is I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this opportunity, obviously, to plug. Uh, Eddie Lee, uh, one of the most classic uh, New York players, and basically Justin and Arturo, two of the best fighting game players of all time, are basically products and students of the great Eddie Lee uh, yeah. from the New York scene. So just definitely wanted to give him a shout out. One of those names like John Choi, you know, the Tomo Ohira, the classic names that you hear that we don't know about as much anymore. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that if there's if there's one thing that would be a dream is just to get all those like old heads in some way back in some way to like get some really like 1990s era East Coast versus West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back. Bring it back. You could yeah. pull it off, Max. I believe it. You could do, do it. it. Let's do it. You've got something. the power. <laughs> Let's do it. Absolutely. I believe. Well, if, if anything in this uh, this upcoming fight, though, if it's uh, Justin and, and Arturo, I know that M Arturo is going to have the best setup with the least amount of lag, the most perfect reaction time uh, tuned configuration. This game might be running at 480 <laughs> frames a second. Art will figure it out and be running the perfect, perfect uh, version of it at the very least. So maybe he's maybe he's got a more responsive. Didn't he tweet like I think he tweeted a picture like literally he's running it at like 390 you know hertz yeah and, you know so yeah you say 480 and it sounds like an extreme exaggeration but yeah. it's pretty and much just the truth. <laughs> that's an interesting note about the Capcom Fighting Collection because all the games in this game uh, have rollback netcode right. It's one of the first big collections of Capcom games that actually have rollback netcode throughout every single title. Their own lobbies, their own ranked matchmaking, like all that kind of stuff. Training, training so as well. and, and training mode that's a big deal for classic. Mm -hmm. arcade games that takes a lot of work the cool part about that is that since it is rollback netcode you can set proper delay settings in the options menu and for some people they might not know what that means it essentially means that you have to add an input delay to make the the visuals really smooth that's what rollback netcode needs so yeah delay having having an established delay of like one or two frames i think the game defaults to four yeah. which might be a little aggressive right i think that's to play it safe for on the developer end but you can change that so I would argue anybody that's playing around with this, if you're feeling, feeling a little bit too much input delay, you can go change that back down to something that's a bit lower than like four. Yeah, you can drop it down to one and see how that feels and then even bump up to two if you need a little bit extra on it. Yeah. But rollback is is a beautiful thing and uh, it's glad I'm glad to, that it's just here and you don't have to even think about it. It's going to work on all games here. Also, uh, this is the first game that has rollback netcode from Capcom that I think has been since uh, the previous big fighting game, which was Marvel Infinite, Infinite. had improved rollback netcode. Mm -hmm. This is a first party Capcom game, right? It's not outsourced. This is actually made by Capcom internal development, which is with all the wonderful accoutrements you see in it. So this is their uh, first attempt at like retro style rollback netcode, and it's working pretty good. Hmm. Does that yeah. mean this, this is a preview for... You know, Street Fighter Six rollback. Uh, they, they figured <laughs> something out, right? They they definitely figured something out. Um, he, he I know he's he's not currently on it, but when uh, I was originally uh, getting some games in with Esteban uh, a little bit ago, he was on a hotel Wi-Fi uh, connection, and we tried it out, and we got some decent games in. Yes. And I was like, okay. That's the power right there. Yes, not, he's so not on it now, though. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that exact situation is one of the reasons why rollback is so valuable for a lot of fighting games. Is that not everybody has a perfect connection? And mm -hmm. as someone that has been directly involved with games that have made rollback a huge priority, it's because of that reason. You can't guarantee that everyone's internet is going to be great. Rollback can't fix all the problems in no. the world when they eventually take place. But if there's some small issues, like every once in a while you just drop some frames, or every once in a while you just like desync. Rollback can actually fix those moments within within like literally one sixtieth of a second. Mm -hmm. And I just I just kind of want to point out here, you know, Wooly sitting here and 
promising that Esteban's not playing on wireless. And then he jumps in, and Esteban himself jumps in the chat, and he's like, I'm on wired right now. I swear, I swear. I'm I'm like, yes, I, like, I am. There's like, there's like, <laughs> there's like this me. guilt. I feel like there's this guilt. Like, I think that he's actually playing wireless right now, isn't he? Uh, admit it, Wooly. Admit it. <laughs> there's a McDonald's oh. next door, and he's picking up on the McDonald's Wi-Fi. I'm just kidding. After all the things I've said about people on wireless, Wireless and fighting games, that would be the most exposed ever for me to sit here and be like, no, he's on McDonald's Wi Fi. Oh, God. Yeah. He's like, I'm at a hotel. I have no options. <laughs> and streaming at the same time, too. Oh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, no, but no, yeah, again, uh, I think we're trying to set up. Good. You were trying to set up the last match right now, which should be Justin versus Arthur. Well, I don't know if it's the last match. I'm not gonna call it the last match oh, just yet. So. Okay, okay, the okay last yeah. Match, yeah, right. yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, I don't um, know. Art Arturo and Justin definitely know each other's play styles, yeah. right? They know how each other play, not just like one fighting game, but just like a lot of classic fighting games. And it, the fact that at some point we might be able to see like Arturo using Dalsum in some fashion, <laughs> going up against <laughs> Justin using the characters that he uses might be pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who uh, Art's going to lean towards, but uh, it, I, I, it'd be interesting, I guess. Like. Anacharis is somewhat dulcet, like, but not yeah. really. Yeah, I don't think you go that really. far. That character's difficult, right? No, there's no analog mm -hmm. completely, you know? Yeah. I think he'll just stick with Dimitri. I think Dimitri's okay. just a good, solid foundation sort of character. He's got a DP, right? He's got good aerial dive kick stuff that's almost impossible to stop, you know? But there's pocket characters for sure, if anything, you know? I I, I think there, there might be, like, someone in the pocket. Um, something that's really cool uh, about this, uh, uh, the ranked when I was uh, uh, taking a look at it is when you queue up, you can actually select which games you want to go ranked in and search for all of them simultaneously. Yeah. Um, really? Yeah. So if you're like looking for, you know, Puzzle Fighter and such, and you, you can also, you can just select all of them and whichever someone has a match going on and like it'll pull you in towards that one and you can just jump around yeah. as you go throughout uh, uh, each game. It's pretty yeah. solid. Last night, in, in preparation for this to play some of like the weird obscure games that me and Wooly are going to fight each other in, uh, I was specifically picking the three that I thought we were going to play, which a wrench was thrown into at the mm -hmm. beginning of this stream. Mm -hmm. But still, like I was getting online matches in ranked with people that had a bunch of points in Night Warriors specifically, and I was like, "Wow, this is this is crazy." There's there's now technically a group of people that are really good at Night Warriors. Yes, yeah. I what <laughs> I wonder how that's gonna go. Cause yeah, we <laughs> we thought we thought we were getting one thing, you know, oh, Night thought. Warriors. Yeah. I, I mean I do I hope mean, again, a, Sorry, oh, no, go ahead. I was about to say, like, you know, if one of you wins both games right away, you won't even have to worry about the third game, right? See Ad Admittedly go. that's true too. <laughs> but but uh it would I, I think Max would love to show off a little bit of that Donovan, you know. Oh, of course. You, but I feel like you want me to pick Donovan in Dark <laughs> I definitely is like, Max, pick the low tier weirdo in, in Dark Soccer's too. You do that. <laughs> I'll do it for you, chat. Uh, no, I just, so, like, I love him too. I love him too, but yeah. it wouldn't be the mirror. I, I like my fish. So uh, we got Justin once again sticking with Gold Wolf. And uh, yeah, Arturo is also going to be sticking it out with Dimitri. This should be a pretty good matchup. Okay. All right, in and out with that pressure. Yes, backs out, avoiding that that gallon jump in to overhead. Yeah, yeah. Talbain's down HP is crazy active. It beat mm. out like a jump in. And just playing it nice and Ooh, easy, nice right avoiding there. the beast cannon. Mm -hmm. Bro, okay, For anyone curious, yeah, Dimitri, when he dashes, actually teleports forward, yeah, and I think he teleports level, back. He's pressing him. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and so that's the other thing too, like from watching Esteban play wow. uh, uh, Wolf, you can actually back off and just play a much more footsie heavy version of Wolf as well, where you just sure. stay grounded and do a little bit of what we're seeing here. That EX uh, or ES dive kick that you see with Dimitri, I think leaves him at advantage. Oh. I remember this from a few years ago and you can just keep pressing buttons, so it's quite good. Oh yeah, that's what took the last game. Wow, Ooh. Justin with these super random, I'm going to use this in neutral supers, and it's working out. Let's go. First game. Okay. Right, Justin okay. takes first all right, game. All right, all right. Easy Very one. cool. 
the uh yeah I, I think we're starting to see where there was a bit more of patience and understanding when we were seeing esteban where he like is kind of used to the play fact the, that dallin the has these tools the like basics. telbane can just throw out all this stuff in neutral and it just works <laughs> out and he was kind of ready for it but it was yeah, catching so. arturo off guard because you know dimitri has to commit to stuff he's got to jump around yes it definitely slowed the match down quite a bit uh and i'm stalking him like a wolf yeah, he like well as he just said, stalking him like a wolf. He's not really doing the wild beast cannon mix ups. He's not he's not going as ham with it because those can be heavily punished. And he's got the corner now. Great teleport out oh, from uh, from Furby. <laughs> oh my goodness! Another random super. He's, I think that's what he's trying to catch. He's essentially like waiting a little bit, trying to catch like ES dive kick. And oh, there it two is. hits on the was that the regular beast cannon or the EX one? It might have been the EX. That was that looked. I know that was regular. The mm -hmm. color was uh, okay. Yeah. Nice. That's, I like that. Yeah. yeah, most combos you're going to see in this game actually end in sweep because uh -huh. it allows you to follow up oh, that very cool. well. That wow, that cross. Nice. Up. Oh, he's rushing me down. I need, I need my life. Okay. My life. Keep him on. Keep on him. Oh, Hold okay. that corner. Justin, being the proper content creator, he's breaking stuff down as he's playing. <gasps> Wow, corner pressure. Oh, oh he missed this it. Could be oh, it's, he oh, came back. That could have been it. So close. Next Ooh. hit wins. There you go. Oh, let's go. Justin yeah. takes it. Got wow. I, my team go. took Dark Stalkers. The Wolf. Yay. Oh, man. Oh, it's All right. Like That's okay. us in the past. Don't worry about that, chat. Um, okay. Well, congratulations, Justin. Thank you to my, my team. Good, good stuff to Wooly's team. There were some good <laughs> matches in the end. It was well fun. played. Well played. We're on the board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got some officially, good hits in. Officially now, I think it is one zero in points for Team Maximilian here. So okay. <laughs> I think, so, I, think, yes. I think we're winners because we can just get to see Vampire Savior played at like a relatively higher level and to see how gorgeous this game is. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, again, you know, there are five different Darkstalker games on the collection, but Vampire Savior is the one with the most active scene out there. So if you guys do want to get into that game, Vampire Savior is the one to go. A lot of resources out there. You know, I'm sure if you message any one of us, we'll point you in the right direction to, 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 to meet up with the rest of the Vampire Savior community out there. Definitely when you uh, grab the collection, you can take a look and see like from, you know, Darkstalkers 1 to Night Warriors to Darkstalkers 3 and then the two Japan exclusives that you're going to see the roster changes. You're going to see, you know, just little unique things that have uh, were that were evolved over time. VSAV is where it like it competitively sits. Um, mm -hmm. But if you want to get a little weird jumping into uh, Vampire Hunter 2 and Vampire Savior 2, you can see some strange picks and decisions and like the, both games released at the same time right yeah yeah something like that yeah uh -huh. like the lore behind those two games is very odd lore but uh we should talk about that when we come back okay yeah we're gonna go to a quick break real quick again that's just game number one we are moving on i believe it's going to be super gem fighter coming up next and i can't wait to see some actual competitive matches in that game so don't go anywhere guys twitch rivals ko series will be right back after this break Hello everybody, welcome back to Twitch Rivals presenting the KO series with Maximilian versus Wooly. We've gotten through the first game, which was Vampire Savior with a 4-1 victory for Maximilian's team. So it is now one point Maximilian, zero for Wooly. But of course, everything can change really quick with the next game with Gem Fighters. How are you guys feeling about this game coming up? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I believe in the homies. I believe. <laughs> Is that the believe in the heart of the cards for this one? Because, like, competitive pocket fighter? Oh, boy, here we go. <laughs> Listen, actually, real talk. I just want to... There's things I want to see. I want to see Zangief do the grab where he's dad and you're sitting at the table yeah. and you're like, I'm not going to eat the food. <laughs> I, I want to see a uh, a running attack lead to a wall crush that is a, is a pan out shot of the earth and you see the character spin around the planet and end up on the other side of the screen. It happens yes. so infrequently. I love it. Or the uh, Ibuki uh, when you kill with her like cross slash move and you get a... Um, a painting of the waves of uh, Mount Fu views of Mount Fuji, the Hokusai. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful. 
So anybody that doesn't know, this game is a Pocket Fighter, aka like Super uh, Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix. Mini Mix, Mag oh, Mini -mix something okay. like that. It's got different names in different regions, but it's nothing but like Reference Fighter. It's just a huge love letter to classic Capcom games of the 90s and their old fighting game franchises. And weirdly enough, predates, from what I understand, the Street Fighter 3 series and Red Earth, but features characters from those games. Yeah, some of the characters in the background and, and in, in playable, you're gonna see Tessa, you're gonna see Ibuki, you know, right around the time when I'm like, I believe like uh, uh, New Generation was about to come out. Yeah. Um, and then like in the background, Elena's in one of the stages, like there's tons of just great Capcom cameos from all over the place. It's a lot it's, of fun. It's really funny because it's like they just took the sprites from Puzzle Fighter and they're like, we should we should make use of this. Let's mm -hmm. put them into yeah. an actual game. Because they yeah. fight in Puzzle Fighter. They actually like throw attacks from a mm -hmm. distance and they hit each other. So it's like someone's like, ah, we already have half a game. Let's just do it. <laughs> Seeing Capcom fighters versus other Capcom fighters all together ah. is awesome. Okay, so look at this. Interesting. So, Max, is your strategy right now just the same order every time? Because that's yes. the same order. I guess so. <laughs> that I, I told production, do it. Listen to me. <laughs> so, yeah, Jay Wong going to be starting off against uh, Kizzy, which should be pretty interesting. I Once again, I, I don't know if any of us have any idea. The only thing I've seen competitively on this game is that Ryu technically has a throw infinite in the corner, right? What? <laughs> and you can combo into it from super or something like that, but actual combo wise, this is not a big combo heavy game. Characters have like auto combos yeah. that don't technically combo. It's very weird. So it's, again, it's a costume combo, which I think that, is a yep. parody of custom mm -hmm. combo, basically. <laughs> as well as everyone has access to an unblockable attack that you charge, and if it hits, mm -hmm. it knocks gems out. And yes. you as you collect those gems, you power up your normal special moves. And that's that's a great that's a great point to highlight as well is the gem aspect of this game where you're going to see a lot of crazy stuff on the screen and little collectibles that you pick up. You can buff your specials as a result of doing so. So when your character gets to level two, level three, the fireballs are bigger. The mm -hmm. Shoryukens are doing more damage. The Tatsus now have electricity on them and stuff. It's yeah. quite cool. And that's and that's why it's funny because Dan is a hidden character in this game, and he only knocks red gems out of the opponent, and that charges up his <laughs> fireball, which doesn't improve. <laughs> which doesn't get any better. Another another reference to Puzzle Fighter as well, because he only has red gems in Puzzle yep, Fighter. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Ibuki's gonna does just her jumping uh, like multi hit, and like she's wearing a penguin suit while she's doing it for some reason, like. <laughs> It's just, it's the cutest. It's great. Chun Li can transform into Jill Valentine. She pulls yeah. out like a machine gun and a rocket launcher. It's fantastic. And it uh, looks like it looks like Justin is playing Chun. I saw some people doing this to me the other day uh, when I was playing this game online. Chun can combo her light auto combo, stop, and then combo into it again for crazy awesome. damage. Wow. Yeah. Okay. She's like one of the only ones. Like after that gunshot, there. There's I Jill. Think yes. She can link after that. Yep, when she goes pap, 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 you can stop and then link it into it again. Other unique things about the game as well, there's an item system uh, where you can toss items out. You can see the fire and uh, there it is. ice <laughs> under Chun-Li's life bar there that you can toss out. Wow, yeah, okay, just like that, and you collect them. Um, and there's a oh, burst in this game, too. Yeah, you can eject all of your gems in like a, a oh burst fashion, God. almost like Cyberbots, I think, right? Cyberbots is a kind of a similar fun, mechanic where you use it instead of your meter. A bit, and if you do it like neutral, I think you just see that yeah. happen, and it knocks them back. Because he must have been listening. He, there, there it was. Yeah, and if you do it while you're getting hit, um, you, you kind of bounce around the corners of the screen to recover. So yeah, funny enough, there's there's a lot of like single hit confirms into supers and specials outside of these like costume combos that you're seeing, which are pretty limited. Oh, Ow! Donkey kick! Horse. <laughs> Literal do yeah. <laughs> the the combos in the game are pretty short. You do like low forward fireball or low forward into super, not even fireball. There's not even special to super cancels in this game. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, if I remember correctly too, there were even more background character references in the the rush mode. Like there was a really yeah there was um um I want I think it was the the, the port the original home port had a long stage that had like Mega Man in it and like just all the Capcom <laughs> classics just hanging around That's in crazy. the background. Bro, yeah, Justin Chun taking the first the match with some giant uh, Kikokens from Chun Li. I think bro, that was leveled up to bro. three, and it was like the size of her. Her little fireball is now huge. 
Yo, that link is crazy. And Bison just yucking Yo, it up in the background on the slopes. Jab, jab, jab. <laughs> Wait, jab, jab, jab. Justin explaining the thing it's I just powerful, explained. Man. Yeah. And it does very good You're damage. <laughs> so is Chun Li top top tier? Is I that don't, the deal? I, see how much, like, I don't actually I know the tier list in this game. Uh, like, but that was pretty good with Chun. Like, I, people money. were doing it to yeah, me bro, when me when launch night mula. happened with this thing. Okay. I'm getting Goki. Oh no. That gets that early yellow gem. Yeah, also air throws and ground throws. I think the air throw leads to like a wall bounce of some kind. Oh yeah, there there is a wall bounce system. It also uh, gets triggered by running attacks. Yes, gotcha. and you can follow up. Mm -hmm. So this this once again, this stage Almost might look familiar. We might have seen it in Vampire Savior, a direct reference to Almost I think it's Dimitri's stage in Vampire Savior, and he's in the background like looming over everybody, and then randomly he's right. sliding on the floor back there. There he is. <laughs> nice grab. Also, Chun Li briefly turning into a uh, Jun from um, Plasma Sword Ooh, there. The Star Gladiator reference. Star Gladiator. Oh yeah. my god. And then rejecting her love letter. <laughs> oh, oh, love letter. <laughs> Ken uh, liked it, right? Ken Ken liked it. She told her feelings. <laughs> Our eyes have met. All right, uh, Justin taking the round. Okay. Immediately restart. There's a couple of orbs on the field too. These orbs can be Why chucked at any awesome? given time. Wow, gems everywhere, oh, jeez. Yep. And in games like this, you like backing off to go collect those gems, super worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Cause right now Chun has uh, level three spinning bird kick and level two lightning legs. Although I don't think we've seen what? lightning legs yet walk? on Chun Li. <laughs> She's so fast. Oh man. Chun's falling. It looks like Justin's falling in love with Chun Li right now. Wow, okay. Oh boy. Wow, okay. Out of there, okay. <laughs> Things are happening. <laughs> yeah, the burst is, is strange too, oh. though, because it doesn't just empty oh, like all your, your moves. It empties your super bar as well. Yeah. It's a very expensive burst. This round really close here. Okay. Ken gets an anti-air of some kind. It might be pretty good, but he does, I don't think he actually has his big uh, fire shore you can yet. You have to level up these specials. Bro, it does no chip damage. This game is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> no chip oh yeah this oh. is this this is a game from the same era as virtual fighter kids it is very weird come on baby no wow. don't challenge all the all the armor on that oh it's because it's a it's, it's a, a level, level one kokoken yep and that's so that determines the priority of what's going to be what Pretty cleanly. Five seconds. Oh, 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 oh. And Ken exploded Mega Man GG. style yes. for some reason. <laughs> well, there we go. Great stuff, uh, to Justin. All right, kids. I just leave it up to this guy just to figure stuff out on the fly. Like I'm literally like, yeah, Chun's got this like linking auto combo. I wonder if Justin knows about it, and he starts doing it. I mean, I, of course, there's Pocket Fighter tech. I like, I don't know <laughs> any until now, but you have to believe it's out there. <laughs> People are in the discords. People are labbing everything. Absolutely everything. Yeah, dude, like, I swear, like, people always want to talk about, like, simplistic fighting game or, you know, a, a beginner friendly. Dude, there's tech in every game. And our, yeah. our goal as fighting game players is to make the games as broken as possible. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's like that's something I have to remind people is that, like, the pursuit of balance is essentially, like, a faulty hope. You're you are you are competing as developers like against your fan base of people that are the most hardcore because their entire motivation is to break your game and give them the most advantage possible and remove all of the bad all the bad stuff, right? Just let's just make it a one player game. That's my goal as a player and that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> no matter how simplified things get, there will always be that little bit that you can hyperanalyze or you can start oh, counting yeah. frames, you can start counting micro walking, or you can start counting <laughs> where you block the sliding kick, how deep it blocks and changing, and then or how active it is, and then people will just hyper focus on that and get better. You know, no matter how much thread they get. The whole goal of a fighting game is to make sure the other guy has no fun. <laughs> <laughs> As much as devs will try, they'll try so hard. They'll get so far, oh, but in the end, man. it won't even matter. Damn, James. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, look, again, you know, Justin, 
<laughs> one of his things that he's known for is that defensive style of play. And yeah, I mean, trust me, he's he's trying to frustrate you when he does that. Dude, I, just, uh, when you hear Justin's game plan when he describes it, he's like, I'm just going to block. And and people break down like it. You watch people's like mental fortitude break down where it's like he's just blocking everything. And now I'm getting frustrated. And that's when Justin that's when Justin kicks in. I, I try to, when I'm talking to a lot of the new players that are getting into the genre for the first time on my streams and stuff, I try to talk about that, that, like, part where you're describing, like, there are other persons trying to make you not have fun, <laughs> and, like, how to fight through that, and, like, yeah. find, find fun despite the loss and seeing what you can improve in your own game. You know, focus on your own little mini steps, and that's kind of the way to look at it to get past that. Because when you put it that bluntly, oh my god! Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the end goal. That's truly the end goal. Like for for the actual like like the top one to two percent of fighting game players that are taking the game to like that level. The goal is to just leave yourself at advantage completely and remove options from your opponent you as get much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. And in these old games, you can't see that. It's just like now that we know a lot about how they're played and how they work out, you get it's a bit more obvious. Yeah. And and again, you know, we we hinted at this a little bit earlier, but there is a training mode for every one of these games on this collection and, you know, outside of and again, these were all games created in the arcade era. We didn't have training modes back in the day. Mm -hmm. So, no. you know, uh -oh, yeah. now we get to really experiment. In all fact, right. I don't even I'm, know I'm if the PS1 we'll or the My Saturn version cheap, of this game had so training mode because a lot of classic Capcom games just did not have it. So I'm very curious if this is the first time Yo, that the this game gets it. And then on top of that, all of these games were made in the same like four year window. You know, that 1994 to 97, 98, like, that, it, like that's the range in which, like, these days, like, one, maybe yeah. two games come out. But with, like, like oh, so nice many CPS2 and CPS3 games coming out in the same time, they all have the same design philosophy yeah. of just, like, being mean <laughs> about stuff. I was about to give uh, Bestabon a huge shout-out for picking a Darkstalkers character, being a Darkstalkers fan. But then I just oh, realized my man. boy J.M. Crofts on my own team is actually the one that's <laughs> rocking Shenko right now. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, this should be indeed. interesting. Bestavon is playing Akuma and that putting the pressure on. Let's go! Oh, that's oh that's hit him unlockable. with the sign! <laughs> <laughs> Akuma's house. So one of my favorite things about Genko, as I was looking through the references Ooh, of this game, one. when she Let's does go. her costume combos, she turns into I a chef. So she turns into that. Chef Co. Ah, I'm like that is really cute. <laughs> that is extremely and then, cute. And Akuma just starts swimming. I don't know what or why, <laughs> but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He does like workout poses. I, what, what, what is oh, going on? Like he turns into like a carpenter. Yeah, just. I guess Akuma's just a, a you know, a, a, a blue collar man. He's a little yep. bit of a like, uh, uh, athletic. Dude, I think Ibuki like, has like a lot of super Japanese influences. Uh, mm -hmm. Like a bunch of Japanese culture is like all over the place on Ibuki's character. Can you get a punish here? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I feel, I feel like the most characterization no, we had nice, with Akuma nice, outside of him just Dude, like wanting to kill no was gem. him selling fruit to that kid in that one piece of art. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh How Jim Cross making a good point where it's like Akuma is all maxed out on a lot of his specials which make right, him very so good and if you don't have your specials, if you don't have your gems tool. leveled up, it gets pretty difficult. Mm. At that point it's good to go for uh trying to get that unblockable hit in force a gem out that you can steal, and now you get one up that they don't have. Yeah. Nice. Nice, DP. DP is three hits. Oh, I think it's all maxed out, is it? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Good command grab into the corner. Uh, that looked like a setup, maybe. Yeah, and uh, you see a lot of these auto combos are stopping them because the last hit is like a big commit. So you want to do the first two hits or the first three hits. Yeah, not, they're not all uh, true co true strings as well. A lot of them uh, are blockable after if you just kind of mash like jab, 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 jab. Yeah. But mixing it Whoa. up with uh, punch, kick, punch, punch or so, sometimes you can get like grabs mixed in so those yeah. gaps can be capitalized upon. I think there is like four Let's set combos go, for everybody. Good All stuff right. from Jam right. Cross nice, bringing that nice, back. Nice, nice. There's okay. like four set Woo. auto combos for like dicey, every man. character between so like punch, 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 or punch and three kicks, or punch, punch, kick, kick, like that kind of stuff. And they mm -hmm. all lead to different enders and actual different costumes. So if you're looking to see like all the crazy Umbrella like super, references yeah, that really are littered know. throughout I, each I character, they're in a lot of specials and those costume combos. 
Yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, the punch, kick, punch, punch, uh, again, sometimes goes into a grab, in which case, like, it's a bit of a mix-up if you're just going to block it or try jam. to do something in between. Yeah. Also, so, yeah, we just saw Akuma doing that, a running attack, which he turns into himself go. into a drill. We know, do we know a combo here? <laughs> Nope, just, just here's here some fried rice. That was the combo. In the background of the stage, you can see San San uh, flying up in the, the clouds above there. One of the classic Capcom uh, 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 characters. Wait, like MVC2 San San? MVC2 San San. Oh, from wow. I didn't before know MVC2. The, yeah, the it was actually like a platformer, nice. right? Mm -hmm. And this stage with uh, John in the background just howling Ooh, is actually one of the though. puzzle fighter backgrounds, just like fully realized, too. Oh, you're right. I never realized that this Let's is like go. a direct reference no, to that. No, it didn't work. No invincibility Ooh. on supers, it looks like. Come on. <laughs> nice punish. Hey. Wow. There's alpha counters in this game? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Guard counters, huh? Bro, oh, that unblockable. So Yo, put him to work. Hit him with the wood. Let's go. Hit him with the wood. My gems. <laughs> <laughs> Akuma the foreman. He's stealing all my dang gems. Wow, we're actually <laughs> seeing projectile collision there, and Akuma's fireball would just beat out uh, the knife toss. How funny is that? Are they, are they both level two? What? Why didn't it reflect the fireball? Ooh, okay. Survives. I think that's a command grab that she has. And I think Shinku Hadoken becomes a, a, a beam at level three. Does it really? I need to see that. Maybe. I might be misremembering. Okay. There you go. There you go. All right. You got All the right. Round. Let's go, Esteban. Oh, I'm not. I can't see entirely which uh, Super's Jam Crops has leveled up, but he does have Gong at level two, which which travels super far if he gets it to level three. Right. But he used it earlier to try and reflect, and it seems like it didn't do so. So Did it I really not how. I wonder everything if it... is every everything acts weird in this game. Oh, and there's the alternate string with Akuma where he he becomes Leo from Red Earth as well. And wow. swim away. That's so <laughs> weird. And he just I'm out. See you later. <laughs> kind of like um Nag uh is it Nagare? I think Ooh, the swimmer oh, from yeah N Project Nagare Justice from Project Justice. I mm -hmm. think that's his name. He looks a lot like that when he's when he jumps backwards. God, I Big grab the combo. Oh, wow. He has a combo for that. I'm curious to see uh -oh. if he lands it. It's getting real close here. Akuma most likely has Akuma-style health in this game, so he most he likely oh. doesn't have a full oh. health bar. Oh, is this going to kill? I think it just removes gems. Let's no, go. it no. kills. There we go. <laughs> Mighty finish. Wow, good stuff. That's oh, very cool. We got there. We got there. 2-0. Oh. Good stuff, JM Crofts. That was a little Picking scary, up this man. stuff quickly. Wow, man! My God, it finishing looked, it with supers—that's good. Yeah, it looked like it looked like Esteban was making some adjustments. That Akuma was getting tighter, but uh, Senko, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Willis. Looks like uh, your team is down 0 and 2 here. So uh, I'm not sure what we do for tiebreakers and how we get the points that way, but you know, you're, oh, that's right. There is no tiebreakers because we were saying all the way through. All the way Never through mind. going, yeah. All right, so. Uh, yeah, uh, Pocket Fighter is a weird game, dude. Like just seeing how people are getting damage, a lot of these matches are coming down to the wire because getting big damage is a little difficult in this game sometimes. Yeah, and everyone's kind of stubby and small, so <laughs> like jumps are really weirdly spaced, you know? It's just, it's strange in how you approach. Oh, yeah, boy. dude. Okay. I one of my favorite things about seeing this Capcom fighting collection like this, like obviously a lot of us have not really played competitive pocket fighter or, or <laughs> gem fighter, so we're not sure how it goes. But like, what if this can lead to like a super serious <laughs> yeah. gem fighter yeah. scene? Yeah. You we're, know? We're, gonna, we're gonna be watching the Twitch Rivals 2025 Pocket <sighs> Fighter World Championship, six million dollar prize pool. Let's bring it on. I guarantee you the tier list maker is already underway. <laughs> Dude, you get any game, any goofy looking game that that people just love and they'll take it super seriously, right? It doesn't it, that, that's the funniest thing about anything is that it will turn into something competitive if people love it. OK, so we got Silent Scope as Keith and Art as Chun-Li, hopefully returning some of that uh, some of that 
uh, Chun Li, uh, you know, some of that strong Chun Li play we saw Justin doing. I want to see what? Art doing it as well. What the heck was that command grab whiffing? Wow, the flying knee. Geef so, is missing teeth. That lunging command grab is the one where Geef just starts biting you. Oh, good. <laughs> like it, I want to see it. Yeah, he grabs you and just starts biting you all over the place. Um, Silent, Silent Scope's got the corner here. He's probably going to try to keep it. Uh-oh. Air block is in this game. Good to know. Yep. And uh, the other thing, fun thing Geef can do is uh, the dance kicks, which, of course, are from his ending. Yeah. When he's dancing with Gorbachev, but now he goes into the full outfit. Jeez, Geef is uh, Geef's working on this concrete over here. Huh? Oh, did he dash into it? Yeah, he, he dashed Ow. in. Get those gems. I can, I can feel a big command grab. I can feel Ooh. it in my bones. Oh, oh what? Oh, I, <laughs> I'm gonna write a letter to Capcom. I feel wrong. No. Oh, that, he went for the command grab ender. She be hitboxes, man. No chip there. No chip. What is going on here? <gasps> is it gonna work? No. no! Oh. I'm just assuming the move is broken. We're just gonna assume the move is broken because it should have landed like four times. He held up. He's fine. He was He's out of fine. there. <laughs> it's kind of like Birdie, you know. But yeah, it's very similar to Birdie's like big ex dive in Street Fighter Five, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But just, yeah, the, the, again, the tininess of these little shibi characters means sometimes the hurt boxes are just going to play weird. They just like. don't match. <laughs> <laughs> Gave killed a bear and then threw it off screen. Okay, we got the switch to Ryu. Fundamentals. Yeah, and Ryu is, uh, I think Ryu's pretty decent in this game, too. At least whenever I play him, like, I, I want to like Ken, but Ryu just feels better in many ways. Hmm. I guess his, uh, yeah, he gets a, the, his main improvement is the level 3 fireball, right? Yes, exactly. Big combo. Leads to the unblockable in the end. By the way, we're at DJ's maximum bar, and he's shaking up yes. drinks in the background. I yes. love it. Seems like most players are not using the items either that much. I think, uh, easy to forget about, because it's on, like, select, I think, or... Yeah, it's a, I think it's a weird combination of buttons. It's, like, throw plus kick or something weird. I don't know. But you can map it to a button. In this game, there's actually pretty intuitive control layouts where you can map even moves to buttons if you want. Mm -hmm. Ow! Oh, that was the that was the daddy one. <laughs> yeah, okay. I still want to see it. And I think that dancing kick super as well. Uh, of it's not the same one, but a version of that shows up in Street Fighter EX. Oh, wow! Great, great uh, overhead from from Arturo there. Playing fundamentals, basic Ryu. Yes, sure you can. When all else fails, I mean. Street Fighter Two. Geef just got hit by two Shore Yukins, and he lost five percent health. It was very weird, but it led to stun. Again. That's yes. a big amount of damage. Excellent. Oh, punched Son Son. She was up there. I love it. I love this basic Ryu. Wow. Oh, okay. The Shore Yu opportunity. Good jump out from uh, Furby. Just, yep, playing it cautious. Oh, what? after what? the block. What? <gasps> oh, dude. Dude. Yeah, oh, she be characters. Oh, that was a crazy <laughs> round. That, dude, I think Geef's command throw range might be, like, aggressively short, and they're just angry at his ST command grab range. So they're like, you know what? Let's make Geef's throws super shallow. Max, it's the baby hitboxes, man. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> they have to grow into their adult hitboxes. That's yeah. what it is. Little, little, hurt, little hitbox babies. It's good. I like it. I appreciate but Silent Scope sticking with the big boys, right? Essentially went with Victor and Darkstalkers and uh, the biggest character in this game, which is Geef. Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. Lilith in the background. Leo as well, warming up by the fire. And looks hey, like uh, looks better. like Arturo already got a level two Shoryuken, level two which Shoryuken, is going to be good. So the electricity comes out on that. Yeah, you start to see the zaps on it right away. Another good thing about Ryu, I think Shinku Hadouken, the super, is uh, invulnerable. And I think we just saw a little bit of that. Auto combo. Oh, oh is that hey. overhead? I don't think it is. No, I, I don't believe so. It looks like it, but... Yeah. Jeez, nice. that DP doing work. I'm assuming... Uh-oh. I'm like, are we going to see a, a standing 360? Kick, 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 kick. Oh, that's unfortunate. No. That didn't combo. 
Fantasco yeah, doing his best right now, but yeah, Furby is holding it down. Mm -hmm. Not really seeing Green Hand or uh, Lariat. What? Oh, really. oh, he tried something crazy. Wow, I... brought it back. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Geef's excited. Yeah, he's got an Irish whip, and then you can bounce back into into some stuff that looks kind of cool. No combo. Hey. I have seen some genuinely crazy stuff with Ryu in the corner here, and I, I wonder if we're going to see it. You've also nice. got a... What is this, a safe uh, jump? Wow, okay. good hit confirmed. Okay. Leveling yep. up stuff. <laughs> with the with the thunder this and the, and the cloud. Safe. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Geef has another move as well, which is like he turns to stone and drops and like uh, chest oh, yeah. chest slam it's, to the ground. It's like down second attack or something like that. Down down down, down down punch. Maybe? Down down punch. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. oh. Wow. Splash is doing work right now. No. <laughs> he pulled out the wrestling bell. Man, that jab is quite good. Play it safe. Oh, he can, he can, he can Eighth. like Mega Man style change his jumping arc when he's like doing the splash in the air. How goofy is that? Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 no! oh, God. Oh, that God. Just needed to do low forward fireball. Would have taken it. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're still in there. Jeez, big trade. Not look, a look good the one. Little damage that did to Geef. That was so weird. <laughs> that was not a good trade. What is going on? Okay. <gasps> oh! oh the... I've never even seen this before. Bite, 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 bite. He bit the holy hell out of him. <laughs> look, it's like no a blanket move. Good. Not the head bite. Not the head bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh <Again>? no! <laughs> Those gems, dude. Oh. I'm... <gasps> Oh, he's keeping corner. He's keeping corner. He's letting Ryu get the gems. You're level three short, you kid. Okay. <laughs> just just to establish dominance. What, he came <laughs> back and hit him? Yes. Yep. There will yep, be random yep. characters at the top of the screen that you can hit them and items will fly out. That level Bo three Hadouken doing work right now for both Arturo. characters. Both characters at level three on all moves right now. Oh, Everything's oh, kind of scary. Oh. oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that was a crazy round. All right. Oh, yes. All right. It out. Excellent. All right. One to one. Final. Final game. I'm, I don't think we're going to see any changes, right? I think Silent Scope's going to stick to his guns. This guy plays Cammy in Super Turbo. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we're not going to see anything that crazy. Wait, was that two? Is that, that one one? I think it might be. That was two one? Was two one. Let's go, Art. That was two one? We were just into the match too much. Oh, man. Arturo took it. That's awesome. Ah, Dude, yeah. that was a good fight. <laughs> we got some games here. Let's go. Classic oh, Ryu. Fight. Fundamentals. Look, Arturo obviously putting in a lot of the work here for Team Wooly. Uh, two That's games right. He played, he played Chun Li on the first game. I forgot about that. Okay, okay. Yeah. A lot, a lot happened. Okay, there's a lot of references and a lot of crazy things that we're trying mm -hmm. to keep track of in a game mm -hmm. like Pocket Fighter. It's a genuinely nutty game. And Ryu not showing off too many of them, right? Ryu's kind of not turning into anyone that much. He's kind of yeah. just he's doing his thing, you know. Yeah, he's just, he's just a rock-solid foundation sort of character. I got my anti-air, I got my Tatsu, I am Shoto Man. Let's do this. <laughs> I feel like if they were to make a character, like, make a, make him again today, they'd have, like, the, the, the Fortnite smiling Ryu faces to go off of and all kinds yes. of other new Ryu memes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Lord wow. Jimmy Bones. Wow. Okay, uh, double geef time. We're gonna have to, like, gonna see something happen. My G, my G. Let's see it. So Jimmy's he on like, uh, he like red brief star. <laughs> of course, Jimmy always playing with the shades on, even indoors That's, at nighttime. Uh, a lot of head bite. <laughs> wow, we just saw how you can like completely alter your 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 hyper jump. Like you can really change the direction of it when you're in mid air. You can get complete di from the peak of it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Ah, there it is. A splash. Yeah. Uh, and there's Green Hand. Green Weirdly hand. enough, Blue Hand in this game might turn into Green Hand at level three. Nice Lariat. Yeah, the hitbox on it looks pretty small. 
Lariat into corner. Nice setup there. Automatic looking. Ooh, dash grab! Oh, what? Dash grab is a thing! This is that third strike. <laughs> Let's go. Good job, automatic. My god. Oh. Dash into grab. <laughs> like 14 frame dash into grab. Let's go. <laughs> Something crazy like that. Oh my god. Dude, cross up splash looks scary as hell in this game. Wow. Like just like that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they both have pretty similar strategies. Obviously, they're the same character, mm -hmm. but manipulating that like directional influence of the jumps with Geef and the splash that's just active forever, pretty makes, important. It makes anti airs like a real gamble. Yeah. yeah. A lot of buttons here. Anti air grab from automatic. Nice lariat from Jimmy. Jimmy. Come on, oh, man. Oh, oh, Drew, I got lucky right there, man. Okay. What? <laughs> Oh I my guess, god. I guess isn't actually frame one, okay. I'm seeing some notes in the chat that from some of Splash. my like classic Capcom veterans that Geef is crazy good in this game. Is he? Yeah, yeah apparently okay. he's very good. I see. Oh wow, he does the burst. Wow. And gets two full gems for that. Dude, I think uh, Jimmy is currently. What is that, that range? range? Okay, what? not dead. Not dead. Jimmy's sitting on almost full for everything. Did the guard reversal? Oh. La double lariats? <laughs> the items are getting tossed yeah, now. Just, They're getting everyone, scared. <laughs> anything. Just give me anything. Oh. Wow. Jumping chop what automatic that takes range, it. Man. <laughs> that oh, man. range. Yeah, there's uh, there's some, there's some. Suddenly, it doesn't feel like characters have these like these baby ranges, and then yeah. everything changes. Oh wow! Amplified with dashes this. too, even. Okay. <laughs> Geef is high That's tier in a game, you like... say? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. We still haven't seen one of my favorite things, and I'm I'm almost right? contemplating so it doesn't exist anymore. Oh, where if a character does a dash yeah. attack, they'll literally like hit the wall, go around the earth, and come back to the other side. Yeah. I, like, did I make that up? Is I that actually in this game? It's there. It's there. It's okay. there. I, it's like okay. a special condition. I don't know what it is. Okay. Though. It is there. All right. All right. I'm like, man. I think that has to be like a counter hit or something really goofy. Because I know that exists in the final fight fighting game. Yes. Uh, when, when Hagar actually does his level three. I know. I, but I, I don't think it. you're talking about that. Yeah. The head bite? Yeah, All right. Takes uh, it. Oh, you need work. a dizzy in the corner. Oh, how oh. specific is the chat? The chat's chiming in that you need a really specific condition. Dizzy in the corner and then you do it. Wow. Item stone toss there. Oh. That seems really good. Oh, big That's SPD. Oh. Come on, Jimmy. Hit Sansan. Son. Get, some, get some food nah, there. That was crazy. Oh, my God. Wow. Tick wow. into super. And that and does it, that's dude. It. The explosion well, in the end GGs. of, like, like he's in, like, a wrestling ring and all the fireworks go off is yeah. so sick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good job, Automatic, man. This guy, <sighs> I think Automatic is destined to play big grapplers. Damn. This is his destiny. <laughs> Like, I noticed that you can back off there and, like, hit Sansan to get some fruit and maybe heal up a little bit. Like, yeah. I don't know if that's a viable thing. But... <laughs> so give me some chicken or something. Come on. <laughs> some watermelon. Come on. I saw some yeah, land. I'm starting to see why Geef is pretty good. If Geef can okay. do, like, down jab, tick throw into into level three or big super, that's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Dude, Automatic is a super secret uh, gem fighter expert here, it seems mm. like. Yeah. Don't trust anybody that can do standing 720. Don't trust yes, anybody. Yes, yes. Fair, fair. <laughs> you gotta be very careful around those people. Yeah, no, I, I feel like uh, that first set was back and forth, and then, like, the second one, he kind of just kind of ran all, all over him. And he got the bites in, too, twice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, ugh. Not the so, bites. I, can already, I can already picture uh, automatic just popping off on a stream right now, probably doing a dance or something. So. He's doing the gems chen. That's what he's doing. The oh, gems. Man. Chen. Oh god, sorry, James. One no, thing that's I, a that's a, 
that's a throwback. <laughs> that's a throwback. One thing, speaking of throwbacks that I really wish that we got approval on in some way for like one of these shows, especially mm -hmm. since we're focusing on classic Capcom fighting games, it was like, man, we have James in here. We should have definitely gotten owed to the two hit combo in some way <sighs> into this show. Oh, like there should have been those classic combo videos in here somehow. <laughs> man yeah that is that is yeah you are you are bringing it way back there now <laughs> i just that watched that long... video so Dude, yeah oh, we man. i think we got some updates to uh what's okay. going on right now and where we're looking at next so uh oh that actually concludes it for pot wow that went by way no. faster than i was ready oh no no we've got one more because uh, arturo, arturo still can in. bring it all the way back that's right arturo okay okay you're right i'm i'm, I'm jumping the gun i'm sorry <laughs> Dude, but again, again, because you you're keeping the same order every time, Max. And I know. we're getting a repeat. Arturo, the only one to win on Wooly's team, and so he has to fight Justin again. So it's the New York Classic. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see it. Oh, uh, can somebody save Riku? Oh, he's oh. about to die from a giant anaconda. Can somebody do? <laughs> okay, no? all right. The blank stage snake. Yeah, no one seems to care. And, uh, and Dalzim's wife currently on top of the elephant as he's cleaning the elephant. Is this hilarious? Oh, that's a, yeah. And then Elena over in the corner there, too. I see Blanca Potentially her first appearance. There. Oh, that's the, that's the ninja chick from Red Earth over there yes. on the top of the uh, tree, right? Was it Mai Ling? I always forget her name. My, yeah, I think it's Mai Ling, yeah. Also, pre-Red Earth, most likely. There's so many weird cameos in this game where people are just like, who are these characters? Like, yeah. what is going right on? Now. Early Elena. Uh, okay. Justin, what is this still, pocket fighter? What still is this? locking it down with the Chun-Li. Oh, that oh, cross-up. Uh, there's the combo. Oh. My Look how many gems pop out as a result of that. That's yeah, crazy. that thing is really good. <laughs> and you just have to delay it oh, and then, God, like, kind of link it to a second set. Oh, chat's telling me that this might have... Uh, new gen might have been, like, a month or two before this game. So they were like really close in the release window in 1997, apparently. Okay. okay. So they might not have been like first reveals in here. Okay. So this was like a month later. Yeah, like like right around the same time frame. Gotcha. Yeah, that Man, level two Chun fireball. Is, yeah, just going through reuse. Someone mentioned Chun Li <laughs> neutral. Pull out a gun. Wow. Ugh. Okay, that's a great anti air. Yeah, Justin just playing it safe as oh, usual, right? He's, he's backing up, trying to collect all the gems. He knows the power of, like, level three specials, as we just saw. Dude, god. what is that? Oh, my god. Oh, That's yeah, it's Arthur not a true string. Here. Oh, and the spinning bird kick. <laughs> so it looks like, yeah, some supers totally have in, 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 invincibility. You know, and some, some don't. supers. I see mm -hmm. yeah, Man, yo, Chun Li pulling out the gun to you, Ryu, just you like parry this costume, casual. I mean, that's the, that's yeah, isn't it funny that, yeah, Chun Li has a gun? That old meme is actually true well, you, in this you know, game. It feels good. Uh -huh. So for next game. Okay. Sticking with? Yeah, sticking with Ryu. On the. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Right, so that, that I love it how uh, rounds jam, start uh, with a box in the middle and it's just like who gets it, right? It's the fight over a big gem that immediately gives you a level two. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a bit of that like first attack bonus kind of thing. Yep. Justin with the safe auto combo. Uh that leads to another auto combo if it hits. I I'm calling it right I, now. I, I, I definitely myself. think I Chun's one of the better characters in this know. game. Just I'm, based that, on like how good she looks in neutral. Yeah, I feel like that lockdown. I haven't seen anyone else as aggressively get the, get neutral in control. Um, mm -hmm. Although Geef certainly has some some answers. It'd be interesting to see that. But basic Ryu with the fundamentals. Oh, there I do you go. Believe. We saw a little bit of it. Uh, there's some there's some weird buttons because there's like a punch and a kick attack, right? But you can change depending Holy on the direction okay. yeah, if it's like a sweep or a low forward, you know. And we just saw uh, uh, we just saw NYC Furby do a pr traditional combo like jump in, low forward mm -hmm. fireball, and that's kind of like reuse big combo. 
something else we're seeing too is as they get used to each other like you can see where they're stopping the auto combo and get a feel for whether or not it's worth it to take a big risk in between the gap you know so arturo uh and uh yeah seven uh furby so challenging to like their twitch name is nyc furby nyc furby going straight for a shinku hadoken like right in the middle of that chun li string because you know uh yeah justin went for that extra button Misses the jump-in opportunity right there. Oh, wow. Wow! Ooh, Maybe that out. was even anti-air super, just stuffed out. Huh. I guess it loses iframes oh nice God. and early. Whoa. Here we go! That's a big stun. Uh, raw DP. Yeah, Justin gonna, gonna get the anti-air Kikosho. Uh-oh. Level three. Fireballs. Multiple hits. Yeah, I would just I'd never stop throwing them. No. Like, he, he, he Ryu is effect effectively shut down. He loses his fireballs now. No chip damage to worry about, but it locks you down when you block either way. Nope. And also leads to a wall bounce. That's crazy. I wonder if it loses mm, to a stupor wow. stun. Oh! Man, Justin back. pulling out the Chun-Li Kikosho tech. We literally saw this guy oh, at tournament win third strike with, like, oh, the wrong cool. super on Chun-Li. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Hello. Hi. Wait, hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi, James. <laughs> Hi. We're I, still I in the match. Back. I really wish we came back. Dude, I wish we came back and James is just chowing on a sandwich. He's like, oh, dude, I'm so, I'm so glad I wasn't like picking my nose Victor style or something, dude. Oh. <laughs> a huge ass pastrami on rye. Oh, oh. GG's. Oh. GG's. All right. Uh, looks like Justin GG's. took it. Okay. All right. Good stuff, Jay. Uh, very, very interesting conclusion to that, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, a little early there, but all good. Well, yeah, Pocket Fighter playing out in uh, ways I don't think either of us, any of us were expecting. Uh, there's some there's some goofy stuff, including Geef and Chun-Li seeming pretty powerful. Is it just yeah. me, or does it look like when she does her Kiko show, it's kind of like a Captain America charging star from Marvel 1? Yeah, a little bit, oh, right? The the yeah. the dome of it looks a lot like that sprite, like, a like that energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> more than a regular sphere Kiko show. Anyway, oh boy. I okay, mean, I thought I thought that was cool. Like it was really interesting to see because like we know this game as being a pretty crazy game. Like you know, just from a casual perspective, we're like we know this game is crazy. But the way Justin and Art played it, all of a sudden, that's what I mean. It started feeling like super serious. It, it starts yeah. to feel like an alpha at some way. Mm -hmm. Like it started to really feel like you're looking at like Alpha Two Chun versus Ryu or something like that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I feel like the moment Art switched over to Ryu, even in the earlier matches, it was like, okay, just here we go. We're gonna play what we know. And it's gonna work because this is what Ryu is about. Even yeah. no matter how wacky it gets around you, what yeah. what world you're in, it's still Ryu. Uh, unfortunately, right. not enough to close it out, but good games. Two to Dom. zero. I'm getting lucky on. I think I've gotten lucky. I, I chose the content creators. I'm like, I think these people can pick up fighting games pretty fast. Like, I don't know if anybody <laughs> knows how to play Pocket Fighter specifically, but I'm like, I think they can figure it out. Like, so there's be some cheap stuff in these games. Yeah. I mean, Justin Wong, I mean, content creator, who knew he was this good at fighting games, right? Yeah, right? I, mean, yeah. I hear he's a yeah. consistent streamer. Yeah, he's a consistent streamer, is a casual specifically. I mean, this is the first time he's actually playing fighting games. Usually just talks about them. That's about it, yeah. you know. But now he's actually playing them. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But there you go. So it is now officially two to zero. So Wooly's team needs to take the next two games completely to be able to keep this at least tied going into the final match between you guys. But again, we're going to play them all out because we want to see all these games and uh, it's going to be uh, what's 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 the next game coming up? I think it's Red Earth. I, I think, think we got Red Earth coming up. Red so, Earth. yeah, I am dying to see this. I know nothing about this game. Warzard. So. All of you guys at home, I'm sure you guys are eager to watch some as well. So do not go anywhere. Red Earth here on Twitch Rivals coming up after this break. And welcome back everybody to the KO series here on Twitch Rivals. We are watching Maximilian versus Wooly. Well, not directly just eventually. yet, just their teams, but eventually, <laughs> right? I'm so, really looking forward to what's coming next. I was about to mention, uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to guess who knows the most about Red Earth between all of us. And I don't think it's James. 
And I no. actually don't think it's me, considering even how much we love old Capcom stuff. I think Wooly might be the, the local Warzard expert. Not even. Not, not even at really? all. No. Oh, no. I'm not a Warzard expert at all, but just from a weird spectacle historical thing, it's just a fascinating thing to like read up on. Because it's designed to be a single-player kind of fighting game. The, the the point of it was an RPG element introduced. So you start out with a weak character, and as you fight against a boss rush of different bosses, you eventually get to level 32, you max out your character, you gain more moves, and like you have this whole growth system. Yeah. You know? Um, not designed, of course, for like a super regular fighting game type of situation, but it's interesting. It was basically Capcom's experiment with the new CPS3 board, right? Before mm -hmm. they did Street Fighter 3. Because this this predates Street Fighter 3, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. Warzard yeah, is the first CPS3 game. Okay. This was like around the time where the arcade scene wasn't doing great. Like the late 90s was the beginning of the decline of like arcade arcade machines really pulling a lot of money. So there's like an attempt here to to sort of build retention and they want you to come back and level up characters. They give you passcodes, like all this yes. crazy stuff. It's very similar to what like Midway was sort of doing with Gauntlet Legends at the time frame. <laughs> um, but instead of like being a, a sprawling adventure with multiplayer, this one is about uh, like you versus a bunch of bosses, level up your character, get new moves, and then continue from that point forward. And speaking of new moves, like that's an interesting spot that's never gotten me into this game because I've, I've only played the characters with their early starting toolkits. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think we're going to be playing their matches with the full toolkits of every character i'm pretty yes. sure yeah that's generally from what i can tell the the competitive side of it you play a third <laughs> level 32 on both sides so that you have your full kit um and not just the full special moves but also the different spells that you get because instead of a meter for supers you have uh these little balls that are like your spells and you can switch oh. elements yeah uh to mul through multiple kinds fire ice and so on um, you spend those and then there's actually character weaknesses depending on which element you are. There's a little bit of Pokemon going on there too. All you right, know? This, is, this is way too deep. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, the, the idea was that like I could come in, load up my level 15 Leo, and then like you can I can fight against your level 20 uh, Mukuro, you know? But again, we're all going to be learning about fighting games, especially about Red Earth because... None of us know anything about this game. <laughs> yeah, dude. So uh, the, the order has changed a little bit. So we're going to be seeing some pretty unique matchups. Justin is no longer helming the beginning of my Yo. team. And okay. we're going to start off with Crops versus uh, Jimmy Bones, which should be pretty good. So you have Justin versus Arturo in again. the first round this time. Of course I do. Of course I would do that. Like We have we have to keep like the East Coast throwdown. Right away. Okay. <laughs> matching up i mean so I, I will have to see how it goes with the character picks but uh there's only four characters to choose from to bring it around uh there's also i'm pretty sure a big capcom fighting jam combo video i watched not that long ago made by one jc hensor <laughs> over here <laughs> Dude, one of my favorite combo videos that I've made because it's just like I, I always joke it has like a rhyme scheme in it because like if you listen to the music that I chose, like all the sections match the music and like every time it's a verse, it's this and I, yeah. it's fun. It's good. I, yeah, I, I gen genuinely love those videos. Uh, the one <laughs> other playable. You, appreciate it. The one other playable boss for me, the Capcom fighting gem as well, was uh, Oron, the, uh, the, the, the squid. If you remember. Yeah, and he's he's actually he's a boss in this game that becomes like a playable dude. Wait a minute. Uh is is Jimmy still on level one? I'm so confused. He is. Okay, okay they, they're gonna play through it? Okay. All right. Yeah, we have, you can we, see I think right we have to now. rely on the players to get the passwords correct or something like that. Okay. It's part of the matchup. Oh no. Cross As, is not taking any I, damage. I oh man. I As Tessa I told is a everybody. mage lord. Oh, no. I told him, I'm like, guys, get one. the passwords. It's, it's not <laughs> fair. Is the okay. password part of the matchup? I don't know if it's <laughs> It is. Okay. All right. All right. According to production, the players have the passwords, right? They have the ability they to unlock have these them. moves okay. and abilities. Uh, classic fighter games have a lot of weird glitches that become tech. So, I mean, and things that are intended for you to know. So, if you don't put it in, let's hope he gets it on the next round. Okay. Well, in the meantime, Tessa is a screen pollution character. She's throwing out knives ghosts all kinds of things and just know. in general can counted. lock you down and while you're locked down by those things she can walk up to you and throw you 
character if we're gonna have to run I need to I need to see this in action uh, Tessa is a character that I feel like I've seen more of her in pocket fighter technically than this game and she yeah. has like she summons cats yeah out of like all of her normals and stuff I'm trying to yeah and they and they do little like low sweeps as well um I've seen more of her in SVC chaos I think <laughs> than I have in this game <laughs> wow I forgot that she was in SVC holy heck I need to go I, totally I need to go look up all the references in that game so too he was level one and I was level thirty-two. So I'm, yeah. I'm sure yeah. yeah. This is this Crofts is the challenge no, of this game. Like you have to oh, enter okay. a passcode like to get all this up, all your that moves that unlocked, and that is that you have to let that rock. So four six three one one two three two. Yeah, I. Oh. Yeah, it's like it a RPG. Okay. Did he get it? <laughs> he didn't get it. <laughs> he didn't get it again. Uh, oh no! He's still level one. one. Remember your spot. He's still like, level whenever, one. Whenever you oh over, boy! All right. Well, well, look. So wait a minute. Wait. I, so I didn't see it. Chat. Like, did, do we, so we now have drama. Chat. Did <laughs> did Jam Crofts enter the same code? It looked like they did on the first line, but I didn't see the second. Crofts entered the code, but Jimmy entered the wrong code, and it said no good. The last oh, number was wrong. The last number was wrong on Jimmy's end. Oh God! I mean, look, 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 look at that. Oh God! Yeah, you, you oh, have God. a third of your move list. You is know? there a, is there a setting in the lobby I, I don't or something know if this like match that? Is that? Count. I'm, you know, there is there is definitely a can. setting in the lobby that you can it's you can exactly automatically set it to. One, but that's completely up to to Twitch can, Rivals production if they want to like get that set up. You have to enter the passcode maybe. So we'll see. In this situation, they had the passcode. That was that was the solution. Like here is the passcode. You enter it. That's why they both had the same thing. At a glance, when I looked at the lobby, I didn't see a pre-game setting for the level being set to maximum. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I didn't see one. Yeah, um, I haven't actually played player matches in this one yet to, to see the difference. But we're but seeing you, some dive cats here. But yeah, and you can see, like, the three little balls underneath uh, Jamcroft's life bar. Like, that's three meters that he has, like, three I super see. bars, essentially, mm -hmm. versus the, the one that Jimmy had. And uh, they're, they're orbs that, that kind of just, like, pop out, and you pick them up like Gem Fighter, right? You can, um, and... Again, you can press uh, start to switch the They're elements unlockable. if uh, you're fighting somebody who's weak to fire or weak to ice or so on oh, to find their wow. weakness. How yeah. crazy. And each of the four characters has their their dedicated elemental weakness, you know. So uh, there's a whole I'm, I'm trying bit to, around that. I, I guess I won. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know yeah. That no. took it, right? Uh, the, 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 the passcodes were given to both players. Oh, uh, We'll see, man. Look, then this again. is this is the challenging thing that's like a very uh, like like this is this is the thing about uh, Warzone Red Earth that is like if you don't have everyone on the same level, when I when I went into matches and I played this game online, I had the exact same thing happen to me where I did not have a passcode and I was level one and some dude was level thirty two. Yeah, yeah, again, the reason why that happens is because, you know, a lot of this game was meant to be like the, the bulk of this game was the one player mode is that you keep playing and get stronger and stronger. And so you can have the passcode for that. So, yeah, and that's why that feature is in this game. Why we my have chat, to rely on the... <laughs> my chat will tell you that right now Team Wooly's having the Wooly experience. So it's, <laughs> it's authentic. It's authentic right now. Have no fear. It's all good. Okay. Passwords. We got to get those passwords going. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the first. Uh, you know how some people say, you know, in fighting games, if you pick the wrong character, you're losing at the character select screen. Mm -hmm. Well, Jimmy definitely lost at the character <laughs> select screen. <laughs> it's quite. It's pretty much exactly that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, All right, we'll man. see. Uh, let, let's see if let's see if we can get the character select screen figured yeah, out for uh, best, of bond best of bond and automatic. All right, here we go. Here we go. Best of bond four, player one. Three, one. Four, four, eight, four, one, five, something. Okay. And yes. that's a different that's a different code for Leo. So we got Leo and Tessa. Are they both doing. level thirty two? Three, two, one. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's let the it moment rock. it says okay. We're in, so, we're in good territory. I, I, I heard from several Red Earth players uh, when I was briefly trying this game on stream that, like, Leo is crazy top in this game, that he's, like, super good. Yeah. So I'm, ser I'm sort of serious to see what makes him good. What is the things that, like, make him crazy yeah, overpowered? So he's got some armored bully oh, moves where he can just right? push through and slash you. Um, yeah. Damage is great. And he's got oh some, God, some what is that? kind of what? weird... What? 
What, yeah, he had that ghosts range. hovering around Keep him that he was. F f wow, I'm so That's, confused. Those are, so those are Tessa's ghosts that she puts on you. Is that the is that the dirty throw? Yeah, it, 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 it they 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 kind of torment you. They they okay. hit you a bit, and then while that's happening, she can walk up to you. She and, can walk up and throw. How good? Okay, I know exactly what you're talking about now. In hit stun. In hit stun. Yes. Oh, that's disgusting. So that's the Wind Elemental special right there. That's a universal uh, spell that uh, elemental spell that uh, any player can cast oh, using no, one of their gems. Though. Right, so you know, I, I'd argue between, chilling. like, any of the games we've seen today, like Vampire Savior, a lot of people could recognize Pocket Fighter is definitely still sort of Street Fighter-y. In mm -hmm. this game, you get orbs, and you change <laughs> elements, and you are getting knocked through hits. This game is probably hey. one of the craziest ones. Yo, uh, so I don't think we're going to see it, but Leo push. has multiple weapons on him. He can put that sword away and pull out, this like, a fire long, axe or, like, push. an ice rod. Like, what the he, Oh, my God. As you go through the game, you get multiple cool. weapons right, he can switch to. No and, and like he has them all on him as a move again. to cycle, you know. Yeah, I don't know if I've even ever seen that before. I, I don't even wild. know if I've, I like that's I maybe maybe the sword okay. is so good, cool. which is why you see Leo players use it. But I'm not good with my gosh. Okay, passwords. <laughs> Every time it's gonna be a little tense moment. Oh, you can you can he backed up. Yeah. Losing at the character selection. Oh, Jimmy, he backed up. Oh, you can do it. Vestabon just stole my joke. He just said yeah, about yeah. losing at the character yeah. select screen. How what the could heck? he? Let's go. Sue him, James. I'm just, I'm Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, 32 versus 32. Yes. So the, here's the the interesting part is that there That's is a like matchup scene, knowledge right? check at uh -huh. the literal character select screen. Yeah. So wait, he, had, with he the... had backspace tech. He literally like messed up the code and then went back. Nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that ice storm that he cast as well is another one of the elementals that uh, you can do. And look at the look at that wait, button. Sam here? Man, he's got Sam Sagat's Sam down Sam HP and CBS too. Absolutely. Look at what. What is that? What <laughs> is that? <laughs> Leo. Oh my gosh. This, I wonder if Tesla's like also low health. Here, Yo, that's box art man right uh, nice there. <laughs> yeah, that's the main character. <laughs> right? Okay, I gotta be careful here. Lion O right. vibes. Lock. So one goes out. All right, I'm, I'm trying to see if how this. Okay. Oh, okay. What, what Blew it up. All right. Yeah. So again, Tessa's screen pollution. She's trying to get those things out. She's trying to get the ghosts on oh, you. Jump, jump. Trying to go tanks a little bit, if you would. And then you just. But you can just okay. stand back I'm and just... poke it. And he's so... not even doing any of the the the, um, the specials with Leo either, oh. where you can just like slash forward and go through. Uh, that actually uh, have armor, right? I believe so. Yeah. Nice. We'll take. We'll take a trade. Lock the ghost. But oh, fundamentals what? seemed to be fine. Okay, avoids the ice. Ooh, wow. Uh, Cast tracking, lightning. Lightning uh, fireball attack. What? Oh, okay. Hit. Dude, it doesn't feel like automatic got hit very much, and he is low he's, on life right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Okay, that DP still can be checked. Uh, there's. Uh, I think that's the move, right? That. No punish? Oh, God. Uh, no, oh, he's my over God. it. Just touch him. Just touch him. Dude, I did that. Oh my this god! Is, that oh, like what is the, happening? That's the grab. That's the grab. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. Dude, throw some. Five seconds. Throw out no, some supers wait, automatic. Wait, we can do it. Chill, chill, we timer scam. Right? Timer scam. That's that's timer it. scam. Thanks, Let's man. go. I Let's go. Best of fun. He's running away. Best about to spike his stick. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, best of like that. Like, he's like, I'm in a hotel, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you are the war zard. I believe. <laughs> Man. That, is, that is officially the first non Arturo win from Team Wooly now. So. <laughs> we got, we got games, yeah. Man. I just want good games. <laughs> Things got to get crazy. Special oh, thanks to that button. <laughs> Just uh, dude, uh, that range uh, is east ridiculous. to west. Beautiful. Love to see it. Oh man. Again, I'm totally down. I I can't wait to explore. I mean, honestly, when they first announced Capcom Fighting Collection, Red Earth was one of the ones I was looking most forward to because, like I said, I honestly don't know anything about the game, and so I I want to learn as much as I can about it. 
Yeah, so again, I don't think we're going to see a Kenji. It might just turn into all Leo mirrors from here on out. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> but, Once you see that button, I don't know, people are like, hmm. yeah. But there's some cool animation that I love about Kenji in particular. Like, he's got a like a, a double Kusari Gamma, like a chain and sickle attack yeah. that he uses. And then he pulls out a giant cannon as well as his heavy kick. Like, some really fun animation stuff happening with him that's stylistic. And because it's a CPS3 game, it looks a lot better than, uh, you know, the other mid-90s, like, CPS2 stuff as well. Like, Red Earth is a really beautiful game. Almost, like, way too many frames of animation. Almost. Like, super ham. Mm-hmm. Some of those bosses get really intense, too, as well, with their detail. Yeah, I mean, you can even see on, the like, the, the side panels over there, obviously, there's Newell or, or, or you know, the squid guy on the bottom mm -hmm. left over there. You see Hauser on the bottom right. I don't even know who robot crazy-looking dude on the upper right is. <laughs> Um, oh, let me see if I can take a look. Is it Blade? Uh, might be. I'm not 100%. But, um, yeah, there's, again, an, again, unfortunately not playable. But, uh, here we go. Leo and Tessa. So, yeah, we were, as you I, predicted, Justin is using, uh, Tessa. Okay. And, so the, uh, Arturo, it, let's, let's see if there's any difference between the strategies. Uh-oh. Ghosts mm -hmm. everywhere. There's another mechanic to this game, too, that's the ultimate block that, uh, basically is like a way it's basically like fd'ing it's kind of like a faultless defense you just avoid all chip um it's mainly for speci specific boss attacks but you can use it against other players oh, and it's okay the, and like is once that you it right there uh no you see you, they'll kind of flash purple and hold like a defensive stance gotcha okay so it's it's during block stun uh it's you go from neutral into it, like back into oh, okay. Us. Yeah. So, so I saw the ghost, and then he got thrown by Tessa. Was that your prediction, Wooly? Yes, that was the prediction. Did it just come true? <laughs> I believe it did just come true. There you go. Oh, there, wow. You know, the very specific situation that probably is going to happen a lot more often than we yep. even realized. Thrown on hit stun. Um, and yeah, the, the the other thing about ultimate block as well is that like that's the only way for you to do an alpha counter. Yeah. Uh, traded. Justin taking wow. the first game. Keeping, I mean, playing traditional Justin fashion, this seems like a very defensive character, probably the most defensive character of the four you can pick. Yeah. At the same time, we believe in the button. <laughs> we <laughs> believe in the button. <laughs> no need to get fancy, Arturo. Just, just keep it simple. <laughs> that, it's doing damage, dude. It is like, <laughs> you hit 10 of those and it's over. Yeah, yeah. When it works, it works, man. Which is another thing like an OG will find and just be like, oh, okay. Show me why this I should stop doing this. <laughs> you know? I'll keep doing it until you prove why I shouldn't. Exactly. What? Wow, that hits a lot. Cannonball into ice there. Yeah. Still got a super on deck. What is... Okay, so that's the cannonball super. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, just seeing it. what Tessa does between all of her attacks, she has this like traditional projectile. She has this ghost thing. She also has a super ghost thing that like seems to track you. Yeah, they what kind a bizarre of character. You. Um, the other thing too you see there with their jump height is a result of their levels being higher as well. Earlier in the game, you have lower levels, and then later you get those high jumps. And uh, that's even, crazy. Even the double jump that uh, Kenji gets is like a high a max level thing too. Yeah, mobility yes. changes. Wow, well, the, the great. Go. The great equalizer. Zero seconds on the clock. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So, I don't know if Art knows, but Tessa is weak to fire. And he's got... <laughs> and that's the thing in this game. Yeah, and he's got the fire gem out the, uh, up there. So, I hope he uses it. Tessa's weak to fire, Arisen! <laughs> <laughs> it's super effective. <laughs> And uh, the way you can tell when someone's getting hit with their weakness is like instead of a normal hit, the screen will flash white. I just realized the stage has a bunch of interactable stuff. The pillars are all falling down as they're yeah. hitting each other. Very cool. Yeah, a lot of that stuff during the boss fights, especially, you kind of have that. Uh, it's it's more it's it's designed for that more so than you know mm -hmm. for the one v one. But you still kind of see some of it. Oh boy, let's go! Yes, excellent trade. Awesome. Yeah. That worked out. Uh, Furby takes it. The uh, I've always said this about Warzard slash Red Earth, and it's such a unique world that I, I feel like it could be like hand in hand with another universe of Capcom, like Breath and Fire, 
Breath of Fire. Oh, Breath of Fire? They yeah. They feel like they could share a similar universe, and it would be crazy if it was just like another continent over in some Breath mm -hmm. of Fire lore that like, yeah, you got Leo and you got Tessa and all these characters. Are just Dragons, over there. fantasy, mages. Absolutely. Yeah. Dude, For I, sure. I got to admit. Oh, see, I'm surprised. I thought Justin was going to switch to Leo after seeing what happened. <laughs> is he really sticking with Tessa? He is. Okay. 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 Yo. Yeah, Leo definitely seems like he's the problem. At this point, I'm, I don't know if we're going to see much my Ling or Kenji at this point because you're Leo's right. buttons are pretty serious. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're not. These two sit atop the tier list. Uh, my Ling comes underneath it. Then there's a gap and then there's Kenji at the bottom. <laughs> Jeez. Answer. And Justin's already cornered and he really can't get out. You can use yeah. dive cats. But dive cats not enough. Ba -brang. Okay. Yeah, it just... A lot of people are asking what's with the passwords. So this is like a, a Capcom arcade game that tracks your progress. And your characters will get unique stats and abilities, as we've been explaining and Wooly's been describing. A lot, a lot of stuff changes uh, if your level of character is a bit higher. So the passwords give you access to have the characters have all those abilities. So when you're fighting another person, you know, you don't just have like one or two specials. Exactly. You level up and you gain more moves as you progress against the computer. Uh, and you gain, again, spells and items and things that are supposed to give you a sense of, like, single-player mm -hmm. RPG-like progression. Because the main, the main way you like play a... this game is, like, you fight bosses. Like, that's actually the, the main gameplay loop. Yeah. I and in make some... a reference to, to, like, Metroid password yeah, I systems, but I don't know if anybody in the chat has, you know, <laughs> has experienced yeah. that before. <laughs> Justin Bailey. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like a little bit like that, you know, a little bit like a Mega Man password system as well. Mm -hmm. NYC Furby. Arturo here is uh, one round away from taking this from Justin. I love it. With just just the button. Shoutouts to Hal Maru Jeez. and CBS2. <laughs> and she's not getting the opportunity to get yeah she I, it's, the, I, 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 justin wants to start establishing all this screen pollution zoning, stuff it's just yeah. this down either it's down hp or down jab or something covers so much space and if if you're figuring out a game as like interesting as this that has a lot of crazy stuff to learn and leo is the character where it's like oh yeah i'm going to do this and it's going mm -hmm. to work and i'm gonna do it until i die or you die and that throw did very little, and then that, that DP did very little, but that sword still hurt. So Justin getting some oh. stuff done. Lockdown super. <gasps> With oh, the ice? Wh what? Oh, he coming, though. He's in uh -oh. there. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. okay. Justin, Justin figuring something out. Is all right, all adjusting. Right, all right. Okay. An adjustment. Did you say Justin is adjusting? Yeah. <laughs> Justin is adjusting. Man, He's adjusting. I'm surprised you didn't say that. <laughs> I'm stealing that. I'm just telling you right now. I'll definitely put trademark Wooly on there every time. So copyrighted. Oh boy. Yeah, block that TP. Excellent. The fireballs are working, but man, you cannot. They have startup. Super yeah. on screen. Okay. No, they they don't make up for each poke that he's taking when he when he guesses yeah. wrong on it. I think even if they land, it's not doing as much damage as one of like the sword stabs. Yeah, you you don't even have to get fancy with Leo. You really don't. I'm I'm actually curious from uh, Red Earth experts is if this is some of the stuff that makes Leo crazy good, or if it's even like more stuff that he has outside of the really good buttons. Yeah, again, the experts would have to weigh in on that, but I, I, again, I, I do believe some armored, uh, again, the armored slashes is what I'm thinking of, and I also, I'm not sure if this weapon is the best weapon in terms of range and damage, you know, <laughs> but the fact that there's even options is wild. So, yeah, we're, we're most likely... Uh, them out. Good stuff to, uh, good stuff to NYC Furby. Well, I mean, we're most likely not going to see it, but you're trying to tell me that, you know, that there's other weapons that Leo is wielding, he potentially yeah, could guys. pull out a gun. We're not going to see it, <laughs> but he Maybe. might just have a gun. Like, he's, yeah, one, one button, he's right going there. through a full uh, arsenal. It might just be in there. Let's go. Ooh, NYC Furby. Hell yeah.
Uh, this at this point, I mean, it's looking like Wooly is Team Yo, Red Earth right now. <laughs> let's get it, baby. Two one lead here, and uh, two more players to eliminate on Team Max, if I'm not mistaken. The, yeah, the, we're, we're, I, I, I really want to see Kenji, but I just don't know if we're going to see it with the limited time that some of these players have had with these games. You know, at the beginning, I was saying I wanted to see him, but I'm full lion -o. Let's go, Thundercats, baby. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm all about it. Never mind the ninja. Show me the lion, baby. <laughs> I like my, my Ling is on, like, roller skates or something, too, right? She's got, like, a weird mobility or something. I'm like, I, I, maybe I'm just thinking of something different, but she's another unique character. I know she's fast, she's got kick moves, and she's got the big feather, but I... I, I yeah, I'm not too sure either, Maybe really. Yeah. I mean, after watching that last match, I'd be surprised if everybody doesn't just keep playing Leo at this point. <laughs> it, it'll be at a super exciting Red Earth Finals if it's <laughs> for essentially Sagat poke, down poke. piercing each other to victory. Absolutely. So, Kizzy uh, Silent and Scope. Silent Scope. Yeah, so I'm curious. Silent Scope has been uh, traditionally throughout this tournament sort of playing relatively low tier characters. I wonder if if he's just ready to go. I mean, I know. I'm sorry. He played Geef in in Pocket Fighter, so that is apparently a pretty good character. He plays like yeah. the the big boys. The right? big he plays boy. like large characters, he big bodies. Absolutely. Oh, Silent Scope is playing Tessa as well. So we're seeing okay. a very similar matchup. Granted, there is only okay. four characters in the game. Yeah, Dude, and Kizzy is definitely testing his buttons right now. I don't know if he's ever played this. <laughs> Wait, you but, think? Do you, you think they're actually button checking? Oh, we found Are them. they? Target in, in this match. Gentlemen, we have found the button. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, no. Yo, we, Team we, Lion. We, we have Kurt. watched it happen live in front of us. <laughs> he, he found, found the, button. the button. <laughs> Okay. I he found to, it. You, got, you had to. Oh my God! He, he had a one out of six choice, and he found the one. <laughs> that tells you where the homework was at, right? <laughs> okay, folks, we're oh. all good. Ooh, Silent Scope bringing it back a little bit. Okay. Uh, things yeah. from Tessa aren't doing a ton of damage. She feels like a naturally kind of squishy cure. character that the you know just pollutes and annoys. The medium cake. We got Yo, Kizzy with the one minute lab. <laughs> we found the Come button. Go. Okay, okay, ghosts are on. Yeah, 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 yeah. grab. And he, that that was the that was the ultimate block he was doing too. Yeah. Which is free, by the way. Well, yeah. So you're saying Kizzy was doing ultimate blocks, so they definitely uh, understood the mechanics. It isn't about just the one button. Mm -hmm. It's getting it's get at least an understanding of what the game has to offer at a core level. That's exactly it. Yeah, and. Uh... Again, I'm not. I, I I believe in the one minute lab. It's fine. I think uh, <laughs> I think he could do it's, it. It's funny. You, 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 we mentioned one minute lab and and this this process of learning fighting games and just what's good and yeah. doing it arcade style, dude. Like back back in the day, and I hate that phrase. I swear, people would be good and some of the best in the world oh, at some good. tournament okay. games. Good stuff from Silent okay, Scope. They'd be they'd be good That's at some tournament game, games. Right? And no kidding, they don't even have the game. They have never yeah. played the game outside of tournament. The only way they've ever learned how to play it is through tournament matches, and I that blew my mind. A lot of the best players I grew up with back move. in the day at the arcades here did not own any of those games at home either. No home ports whatsoever. It was just all live in the in in the the most hostile the moment, environment. You know? Yeah, you know, you got to pick it up and and get tossed into the deep end. That's kind of the thing that I appreciate about, like, the classic era of fighting games is that a lot of fighting games are doing their best to, like, teach you the cool stuff and show you the cool stuff that they have to offer. And to me, it's it's really fun discovering that stuff, right? Like, mm -hmm. even a game like Red Earth, like, I just like jumping in and seeing what characters can do. And that can be a little difficult because there are systems like this password thing on top of it. But just discovering, so like, what is what was the gimmick that the game is trying to, like, set up for? What does this game want to show you? Why it's so cool, you know? I, can, I can't count the amount of times a new fighting game showed up at the arcade and you know someone would walk in one of the group would see it for the first time and then it'd be like oh this looks kind of cool what's going on and then one of my friends would just be like oh yeah come, come here let me tell you what's cheap yeah. <laughs> yeah. let me show you what's actually good before you know anything else about the game just learn this cheap thing and then just run that on your quarter and you'll be and fine that's a that's a great point because a lot of a lot of classic arcade games, especially from the '90s era, Super Turbo is once again another great game as an example of this. Are huge on like knowledge checks, mm -hmm. where some character can be super bad, but they do this super cheap thing, and if you don't know how to get around it, you're just gonna die. 
did you did you have any of the like round two pseudo tr not mercy round but the round two practice round in, in your arcade at any point oh oh dude i had that in street fighter 4 yeah when, <laughs> yeah when street fighter 4 was in arcades before it was in, in consoles uh yeah we're like oh you win the first round time to just practice some weird stuff in round two and then take round three that's it that's it we both spent our, our 50 cents three. here yeah you, you don't have we don't have a lot of money okay <laughs> <laughs> we, we gotta figure out how to make this stuff last oh kizzy it's okay yeah, Silent Scope definitely has some some interesting block strings that I haven't seen the other Tessas use as of yet. <gasps> Time oh, has. On, let's go. Oh, draw what? game! So how does it work? Both players get a win. Okay, both another players round. Get a win. Okay, another round. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job, butter. You did a good yeah. job. Though. Yeah, I think that's better than the no one gets a round because then you can get like a round eight situation yeah, going. That's, yeah, and somehow you get like that many draws. Yeah, I agree with like the, the classic style of get the people off the machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then third strike judgment system. You, oh, in, don't, don't get me started. I Bobby love it. Buttons? It's it's unfair, but I love Bobby it. Buttons coming in, bro. Oh, Bobby Buttons? <laughs> Let's go, Kizzy. Bobby hey! Oh. Support your no, boy. <laughs> Support your boy. What's up, Z? The There's weird stuff breaking on the left side of the stage. It's like the the, the like a temple the of doom the urn the over there. What is going on? When he knock on the door, you better open up, bro. <laughs> 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 with a mission. You feel me? Found the button, baby. Yeah, that's it. That's let's it. let's hope Team Max also finds a button. Right, I'm just hoping. It's maybe. honestly. It's Team it's Tessa versus best, Team Lion. It really That's is That's what's right happening. <laughs> yeah, like every everyone is playing this like this weird complex zoner character, and man, Leo is moving his way in with active sword guy. Okay. <sighs> mess it up. Mess it up. Mess it up. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. Password. Okay. See, that was the on. real the real mistake was. Uh, big B. Big buttons. <laughs> Yo, let's Jimmy, go, let's go, Jimmy B. picked. He didn't. He didn't pick Lion, right? It wasn't even about the password. Yeah, who did Jimmy pick? I he, think he, he picked Tessa. He picked Tessa as well. That's right. That's and right. Tessa, and Tessa on Team Lion is just not going to fly. You know. That's the... <laughs> yeah. Once, once the characters are sort of established like this space and get you in the corner, I don't know how Tessa gets out of here. I have not seen an alpha counter yet, like a, a block state get yep. get you off me sort of thing. Which so she I don't does. Even know if that exists. It does. She has it to does? do an ultimate block and then she has to do a, yeah, like an alpha counter. But if your team doesn't know how to do that, then I don't mind. That's fine. <laughs> I don't need to yeah. say that. <laughs> well, you know yeah. what? Down HP no, for yeah. days. Authority to shield, bro. Nor do I have to say that me. Leo is weak to wind. You know, I think we we're going to just... need a new Twitch emote. It's going to have to be the button, <laughs> right? It's just going to have to be one part of the Twitch emote is like a hand holding the hilt of the sword, uh. and the rest of it is like the middle of the sword, and you could extend Ooh, it with all these emotes to make it super long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going to have to do it, right? It would reach across the entire Twitch chat. Yep, yep. And until it scrolls out of the chat, it's active. Yes, it's active, right? <laughs> Completely active, frame one till frame 19, reaches forever. <laughs> Come here, bro. Hey. Come on. Come to the sword, master. I guess, <laughs> no you know, come on. Leo's a zoner, too, come if on. you really want to think about it. If you really want to think about it, he's Dalsim. <laughs> he is the Dalsim come of on. the game at this point. Oh, no. You Look at the ghost. He doesn't ghost? even need to block. You he just, he's ghost? holding forward with his face, and he's trying to stab the hell out of her. Oh, oh. Ooh. Getting a little cautious, right? Why you even press that kick button, Kizzy? What are you even doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Why? Yeah. The other the other five buttons on the stick are useless. <laughs> hey! And it traded. Of course it did. All right. I'm going to ask my All together team now? To I'm going to ask my team to shit. Right? My, my team is going to have to... I want to see some Leo versus Leo. We're going to need a... We're going to need a... Uh, we're going to need a team powwow here in a second. <laughs> I'm gonna get my, my squad together, and I'm like, okay, guys, I'm gonna tell you which of the six buttons you press. That's the pose. And, and if you think about it, the only game that Maximilian's team has won was because Jimmy lost at the character select screen, right? So, you know, we, so we, far. We are in this on a technicality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Okay. So now it's up to Crofts to bring this all the way back. And he was using uh, Tessa before. 
Yes. Because uh, yeah. it's it's Max Maxatessa versus uh Woolio basically. Woolio, yeah. <laughs> That's oh, it. Man. That's it. So let's see if uh Croft's can run this back. I mean, it's a, there's a lot of work here to be done, but if he's going with Tessa, it will be Tessa versus, what, three Leos, I think it is now? Yeah, James, yeah. head empty, one button. <laughs> head empty. <laughs> Brain oozing out. I okay, okay. Is I, I don't know who's on who. One player's on Leo, and wow, Jam Crofts is sticking to Tessa. You know what? Yes. I'm gonna give it up to my team. My team Tessa's sticking so it out, right? We're we're playing the characters that we love lost. here. That's so what's I going on. Yo, the, the passion picks. Yeah, you do that. Meanwhile, Mufasa's coming for it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Everything the sword touches is it's my your angry. kingdom. <laughs> Long live the king. <laughs> yeah, <just kidding. laughs> but what about this. that ninja over there? No. You must never go there. <laughs> you must never go there. Uh, come on. God, what is this? Yeah. Tusk KI2 super. What is going on? Armageddon. <laughs> Armageddon. <laughs> okay, it's closer than I was Damn. anticipating. And I got. Yo, oh, we got zapped. Oh, Excellent. Got stabbed. Oh, I wasn't blocking. Excellent. Yes. All right. I can see. I can see. I could feel the frowns on everyone on my team getting hit by this sword. <laughs> I'm. I'm glad that uh, Esteban went and learned the spell tech as well because it's free. Everybody's yeah. got it. Okay. Get the summons out there. Yes. Okay. This. This probably when 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 my team eventually gets to figure this stuff out probably doesn't work out for Leo too well. It might. It might be very difficult for him to make Dude, his way in are... until you get hit by meteors. But then we got those. Up. You know. All right. Because like w once you get to this spot, it's bad news. Yeah. Right? What, once in, is in the corner, it's bad news. You're in the range of his divinity. <laughs> that sword. Let's go. Wow. Blocked the, the anti-air. Right. Oh, okay. We got around. We got around. So the full super comes out Ooh. even though they traded on that. Yeah. Final round. Okay. Got to walk in a little more cautiously. There wow. you go. Dive cat lost to down HP. I'm shocked. Okay, okay, we got rushed down Tessas now. I'm mm -hmm. down with it. Something else, too, is uh, this game has universal launchers that uh, can combo into those spells as well. Like, really? especially into that one. Yeah, you can do a really high launch into that tornado. But uh, no need yeah, to get it, fancy. Yeah, it's, it doesn't seem to be like a super combo heavy game. I'm pretty sure there's no like chain combos or anything in this. It's mostly like button into button. Um, I, yeah, I don't think there's a, t there's a, there's, yeah, tons of long combos. Um, oh, he oh got my God. Why did that do so much damage? Ooh, oh, that's what we're looking oh. for. Okay. Okay. A little bit of offense here. Miss the dive cat. Oh, sucks. Um, damn. God. That's all right. Nice. All right, Leo all right, is right. victorious, right. baby. Yeah, yeah there's certainly some, is. There's some uh, chains that go camera, like light, light, medium, it. you know, into like a launch or so. There's like, like a couple. Oh, I see. Ooh. Okay. But there's not, um, yeah, your your full magic series. It's sort of like Dark Soccer's routes, you know. Mm -hmm, that they mm -hmm. you can do a bunch of light attacks, or you can chain. Wooliyo. First game, just data. All right, data. All right, where am says I Cross. Codes, if man. you guys would like to see what Myling and Kenji is like, uh, the Capcom <laughs> Fighting Game Collection is available now. <laughs> the other and characters they are incredibly fun characters that you can also play in guys, a in I'm a wide variety story mode that includes bosses. In the of a map. Check it, it out, chat. Yeah, uh, the got Kenji's got kunai that track towards you. Cool. It's, it's pretty cool. There's this the, this other girl that does stuff. <laughs> and some of those bosses have like uh yeah these fun like full screen things that you have to learn exactly how to like yeah. time the blocks on and stuff like there's patterns that are a little dark soulsy before dark souls if you want to throw that word out there <laughs> people are saying man we're seeing a lot of the same uh, characters life, there's four characters <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah yep. there's not that much variation buddy mm -hmm. although shout outs to the bird though that tessa throws oh, out that's a really good, cool dude. looking he's projectile right. it yeah. kind of flies in from the left side and curves around and goes right like, right, and we're not right, able right. to see it a ton 
but when Tessa is doing specials, you don't see it very much, but when she's doing normals, she literally has cats that she summons, like, out of her pants. I'm not even kidding you. There's, like, a, a black cat and a white cat that, that hit for her instead of her actually attacking you. Yeah, I saw, like, a little zoom in on the sprite of, like, the cat doing its own little crouching forward, and it's just like, that's, that's adorable. That's cute. Yeah. Okay. Zoning a little harder now. Ooh, no. I don't think this game ended up having, like, OTG state, right? No. Where you can, like, do jumping attack to get, like, an OTG, like Darkstalkers? You know, um, not that I know of. Okay. Um, there's always things I don't know about Red Earth, but That's not true. that I know of. I mean, you're, you, you know way more <laughs> about, like, the stuff you're describing, I'm like, I had no idea that was in this game. Okay, it's getting a little close here. Crofts is playing a little more safe. But oh my god! But, 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 <laughs> but oh GG, GG. man, I'm gonna give it up for the uh, the quote unquote well, moral victory. The the Leo Gauntlet man was definitely oh, something to deal with. Hey! Oh man. Okay. All right. Well, that was Red Earth, everybody. It's a, I, I was a it is definitely that is an interesting game that is mostly single player focused but also features like a versus mode that at high level i assume doesn't look like that at like a really high level you're probably going to see a lot of crazy variations absolutely or you just see exactly that I, I, <laughs> I need another like one of those uh state farm recaps and just show all the jumping medium kicks and standing medium kicks until just like s stitched together <laughs> so at yeah, like the, the at high level, I mean, I, I'm sure you're, I'm sure you'd see a lot more of the like eight or nine supers every character has. You know, yeah. there's a lot going on there that you can combo into. Like I said, launchers as well and such. But why get fancy? You know, keep it nice and simple. Take the money is on the line. Works. Whatever button works. Yes. <laughs> if it Mufasa's works, in the sky looking down on that one. He's proud Dude. of that. You know? <laughs> Let's get it. Oh man. But uh, that's what we got for Red Earth. And so we are at two to one now with Team Maximilian to Team Wooly. But the final game, Hyper Street Fighter 2, a game where you can play any version of the Street Fighter characters from the 2 series, will be coming up after this break. You definitely don't want to miss that. Be right back, guys. Welcome back, everybody, to the KO series here on Twitch Rivals. Quick shout outs, of course, to the, all the Cap Jams music that we've been playing during all the breaks breaks dude it's such so I, I guess all these songs are available in the game itself so you can actually listen to them there but we are currently at two versus one with team maximilian at two and team wooly at one and now we are entering hyper street fighter 2 how are you guys feeling about this one uh, wooly what, how do you feel about your chances here with your team order oh, okay that's silent scope that's justin wong <laughs> um oh boy <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, well, here's the thing. It's This is uh, Hyper Street Fighter 2, right? So, to my understanding, it's not just ST, but it's literally all versions legal, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, it, so, so it's not just, like, so, the old and, and turbo. Some wild stuff can be in there. Just maybe, like, SF2 Blanca is effing crazy, you know? <laughs> Maybe. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how it looks, if anyone's going to go into that. Because for the Turbo, Super Turbo days, everyone kind of knows between the old character and just Turbo. But here with the extras, yeah, it's, 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 it's more than just like Osagat or like, because James, correct me if I'm wrong, Osagat and where the old characters technically come from is <sighs> Super SF2, right? Yeah. Okay. Championship but edition. It's, it's interesting Sagat. because the... Yeah, oh, geez, yeah, wow. is really strong. But one of the interesting things about the way that this game works is like, you know, when you play the Super Turbo, you can tech their throws, but they can't tech yours. Yeah, so, so you, you can't know. soften throws. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, somebody oh, just asked in the chat, is <laughs> nice. Akuma banned? God, I'm so used to this being on Turbo. I, That's a um, turbo um, uh, you know what? If it, if Akuma isn't banned, that's the biggest BM in fighting game history. <laughs> yeah, like you know, can... it, it, in Japan he was only soft banned, 
most he was always legal in tournaments and nobody would just play him but sometimes Due one guy would just come in obligation. and just do it Mm. Yeah, might have to call the refs on that one. Like if someone, it's we're, it's not no rules established that he's banned. But if you pick him, yeah, you're gonna have to deal with whatever happens after the, you pick him. <laughs> the, the emotional ramifications of powerful. picking an Akuma. He's too powerful. You officially Silent get scope. the dark Hado. Oh boy! Right. Well, that's Silent Scope's Cami, right there. Yeah, Silent Scope has been playing Cami in this game for many years. Uh, I think I, I've actually played him on Fightcade back in 2015-2016. So, it's, 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 he, and he just stuck with this character regardless of her being bad. Mm -hmm. So, he has a pretty deep understanding of ST. Top placer at EVO. Just... Oh, oh dear, oh dear that yeah. damage was indeed severe, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, into Hooligan. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice, Link. <gasps> okay, okay. Where's it going? Uh, safe jump. Yeah, that was just okay. Timing. Rely on the early, broken, unbalanced Capcom. Let's go. <laughs> Don't mind Spiral giant arrow. explosion sounds oh, outside my, God, my window, by so the way. No. Damn, that low forward is doing oh, work right now for yeah. Silence Go. No. Nope. Wow! Short, short DP and that's into... It. And there we go. That's our first game, everybody. Um, <laughs> that's dude, Super short, Turbo in a short, nutshell. Good game. Short, short DP <laughs> is not easy. <laughs> hey, so is that because because it, it's, it's not like a link, is it, James? It's not it's, it's not a cancel. It's a right? carrot cancel. You it's have a, to do it, yeah. low short, low short, carrot cancel, stand short into DP. So, so it is not easy. I had to ask like how that works because you see sometimes like a Ryu player will do short, short, short into like crouching short, short, short into yeah, uh, into, into like super fireball. And right, I'm like, yes. that doesn't work. Like what is going on? You actually have to Kara cancel, which means like canceling another move into the fireball in between all of that. Yeah, so basically the startup of any normal, like the first one or two frames can be canceled into specials just in case we hit the button early, you know, yeah. that's how Kara throws and stuff works. So what you're doing is actually doing like with Ken, you're doing crouching light kick, crouching light kick, chain into standing light kick, but you Kara cancel that standing light kick into the super. I gotta try this the next time I play this game, dude. Like I've always tried to do this and I'm like, why doesn't it work? Uh, and so, James, uh, something else, too. Is there um, something about uh, when you do super to someone else on their wake up, you clear all inputs so that they can't retaliate? When the when the screen is gathering and you see those little sparkies on your hand or whatever like that, mm -hmm. it is literally no inputs registered during that time. So, in order to so can, how crazy. if someone's trying to wake up DP and they go forward and then the so down and then you activate the super, they have to continue from down to down forward to do the super. To do the Okay. And Jimmy Bones Rog trying. Yeah, but Justin's sticking with Old Sagat. You can see in the bottom left, it's sort of covered by his uh, his icon. But yeah, he's playing Super SF2 Sagat, which is technically a secret character in uh, SF2 Turbo, uh, or Super SF2 Turbo. But in this game, you can just pick it, right? You don't actually don't have to enter any codes or anything like that. You can just select any version of any character. Yeah, and this is just history we're watching right now, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> like this, this exact exchange. For the motion, like if you want to do boxer, yeah, this. I mean, I, I think historically this is a pretty tough as hell matchup get, for boxer. Yeah. Also, I think we're still hearing silent scope stream in the background. If you oh. guys are wondering what's going on back there, so oh, they're uh, oh, together. I they're see. on the same team, so they're giving uh -huh. strats. There we go. Okay, <laughs> that's right. Ooh, nice. <gasps> Oh god, oh god, the scramble. Oh, oh, oh that's dangerous. Man, Justin matched out of that so fast. Yep. Watch the tap. Nice. Uh, Dash okay. upper. Let's go, Jimmy Bones. And that's kind of the thing. Once once Balrog makes his way in, uh the threat of the threat of grab, like the threat of all that stuff becomes yep. really apparent. The gr the, the headbutt loops. Bro, my man is teleporting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> Your RCN is like missing a couple frames at the start. Hey man, both of these players are Canada, right? So <laughs> That's true. Different ends, Canada's but... A, Canada's a small country, right? It's, sure. It's... Tiny, even. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh, 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 ah. Man, we're hearing a lot of the ooh This, is, this is Justin's bad. chance here. Tap on deck. Okay. Okay. All right. He's waiting for I just. Oh, oh, oh okay. no. Get a couple of free fireballs here. There we go. Uh, oh, needs the headbutt to get through and mistimes it. Is so scary. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the classic windscreens. For anyone that remembers these, you have to see your, your character beat up. Actually yeah. making a return so in Street Fighter VI in some there, way. Man. It's pretty sick. Yeah, so they, they came back in uh, Second Impact, I want to yeah. say, and yeah. then went away again, and now they're back. That's great. Yeah. It's funny on, on SF6, it's like the winning character. You see them beat up a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Run it back on Guile's home turf. Turbo Ryu. Okay, yeah, we're, we're seeing the drops there a little bit. Yeah, in, in this situation, right, Justin's input delay um, might be set a bit too low. Depending on what he has oh a set to, he might have it on one, mm. which means that, yeah, in some frames of rollback, because they are playing from a, a big distance, you're going to miss the opening frames of animation in rollback netcode for some of these moves. And in old in old Street Fighter games, they come out fast, dude. It's 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 the it's the whole game. It's the whole game, yeah. It is just it's sort of the nature of the way rollback netcode works. The further distance you go, you might lose a couple frames at the start. A, let's go. Sweet. Oh, jump over, uppercut. Oh, jeez. Let's go. Stan. Yes. Good sweep. Yeah, Justin's constantly backed into the corner, but he's holding his own. Oh, oh yeah, let's go. Yeah. And guys, like, make no mistake, like, you're looking at 27 years? Oh, come on. Oh, 1994? Of, yeah, maybe. You know, of Are just muscle Canada? memory in action right uh, now. Canada as big as US with, uh, with Fair blood, enough. On which side. Yeah, there's there's there's, there's, there's like what? How many how many thousands of miles is this? Like three thousand miles or something? Right. It's yeah. So this is Montreal to to British Columbia. It's yeah. pretty much East Coast West Coast. Oh my God! Wow. So I'm very curious oh. if I could team captain in here. I'm very curious bro, if what here. what delay Justin oh, has his got, uh, his his, his network setting set to. Everywhere. It's happening quite a bit. Yeah, it is. I, it is I'm, happening I'm, quite I'm, a bit. I would actually say it would work a lot better if Justin just set his delay oh, to like God. one frame higher. You gotta find a way if to win, if he gets a chance to play again. Solid. Are they going right back in? Because, yeah, I guess earlier when you were talking about, like, setting that delay down from four to, mm -hmm. like, one or two or so, that's the exact type of thing where you'd see a little bit of that feedback and go, like, okay, let's make an adjustment again. Yeah, and exactly. see if it smooths it over. Does it, his dash punch, does it miss crouch? So, yeah, but... He, oh, yeah! So he gets, if he nice gets throw! Down, okay, this is a great opportunity for Justin to establish some space. Here comes oh, the headbutt boy. to get out. No, he missed it. So his dash punch, there it is. Have low rush. His a. Dash hits low. It's crouchers. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, oh, yeah, Balra goes from one end of the screen to the <laughs> other. Teleported. Teleporting <laughs> in. Uh, well, yo. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. I mean. I, yeah. It's yeah. so bad. God, that teleport. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I feel I do feel bad. I, I, I'm gonna need some recon uh, from mm -hmm. my team that is talking to Justin. If we could if we could find out what his delay is actually set to, because that would make a that make a pretty big impact on this matchup. Mm -hmm. This game more than anything else. Uh, this game, this character more than anything else. You know. Yeah. I, I mean that kind of rollback, especially against a character like Boxer, is rough, right? Yeah. And there you definitely do see, you know, the 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 kind of downside to rollback. But again, mm -hmm. you can't fix like the internet is just distance is distance. You cannot yeah. make it perfect. The, the only setting thing that, might that, fix it. Though. The, the setting could right. fix it, mm -hmm. right? It, it would delay his frames a couple, but that I mean, just being able to react to stuff is a big deal. Right. Like that that exactly. that could be, and I'm, that's what I'm genuinely curious, like what Justin said might be mm -hmm. set at uh because that's why that's why that option is there so i i, I hope i hope that we can get that figured out
I mean, if I'm, I'm sensing the spirit of Jimmy Bones a minute right now in my ear. I believe he's saying, my G, we take those. So <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I guess that's just going to be it. But... You know, on, on our end, you know, the, uh, the, we, we won via a uh, we won via a missed passcode. So, Dude, you know. Uh... Yeah. You know, Jimmy kind of deserves that, right? Because he, he had to play that the is... level one to versus level 32. So, you know, hit the I, lag remember switch. I said that Justin needs to have the level one handicap. Well, there you go. He, I guess we just postponed it to in the next game. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is honestly, though, like appropriate that like we've been seeing smooth matches pretty much for everything else. But like when yeah. it comes to Street Fighter Two, like okay, now you start yeah. to see it because of the speed, you know. Yeah, the the speed of the speed of some characters' attacks, and you literally see it in Balrog. Where if you if you miss the first like few frames of that startup, he just goes from here to mid screen, and it's like, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just mimic, it's mimicking mimicking uh, airlines, right? Because I heard like. Two. Isn't it really super expensive to fly from one end of Canada to the other? So the Absolutely. Internet just kind of, the internet is just duplicating that right now. So yeah, that's. I think I think one end of Canada to the other end is actually more than the U.S. Right? Absolutely. It's a distance. Yes, it's it's more expensive than New York to L.A. to get to go uh, Montreal to Vancouver for sure. Well, I've actually heard like you can fly to the U.S. and back to Canada, and sometimes that's cheaper than just going straight from Canada to Canada, right? My Canada Cup tickets were. Expensive. Expensive. <laughs> that, uh... Nice jump in. Uh, uh, okay. Good, good call and jump in DP. It's hard to combo after that. Automatic. Trying to do light light DP. Use invincibility to go through fireball. Ooh. Another stun. You know. Oh, oh I'm God. like, what is with oh, the God. stuns? He automatic is using SF2 Turbo Ryu. He's using hyper fighting Ryu. The... Okay. And yeah, in the old Street Fighter 2 games, uh, two special moves can stun you. So two yeah. fireballs can stun you. Now, this is the that, least... There it goes. Oh, God. This is the least anime game in the world. But, Kizzy, I still believe in the reactions. Oh, oh God. dude. Oh, God. And, and then when, when you get a hyper-fighting Shoto, you're like... And if you get a meaty <laughs> fireball, you can just walk forward and throw him. Like, there's almost nothing you can do. <laughs> Oh man, that's yeah, that's just classic Street Fighter happening right there. Oh boy. So I'm, okay. I'm curious for anybody else in the chat because now we get this version of Street Fighter that like plays online with rollback netcode. All the different versions are in one game. I'm I'm gonna give special shout outs to the very small community that was on Xbox 360 back in the mid 2000s before Street Fighter 4 that played Hyper Fighting on the Xbox 360 in the absolute worst netcode I think I have ever played. And we stuck with it, dude. Oh, man. Uh, was that the same that carried on to the, the Marvel port as well? The Marvel 2 port? No, 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 no. This was like, I don't even know who did this port of the game. Because okay. Marvel 2 had rollback. On 360? Yeah, oh yeah. Marvel, okay. Marvel 2 is still played uh, online by a pretty hardcore community with that netcode. So Kizzy essentially uh, responding back no, with, the, with the with uh, the the mirror match. 30. If you jump at me, it's gonna be a dragon punch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is Automatic located? Oh, can't do it through there. Uh, I don't know actually. Okay. I think it's East Coast. Maryland? He's Maryland or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Somebody, a few, a few people in my chat are asking, is like, you mean HD Remix? Like, no, way before HD Remix, mm -hmm. there was a, a unique Xbox 360 version of Hyper Fighting. Mm -hmm. That was like the yep. only way you could play Street Fighter Online at the time. North Carolina. North Carolina. Ah, uh, I see. Is where he's from. Okay. Ooh! A lot of great screen control right here from Automatic. Definitely an understanding of how to play like classic SF2 Ryu. Mm -hmm. There's the meaty fireball. Oh. Misses. No DP. Oh Big God. jump in. Hey. Huge there we go. jump in. So the thing about th that era too, though, Max, was one where like, uh, I, for, especially for people like me who were like, were late in understanding the importance of the online. It was kind of like, I'll just go to my locals or go to my arcades to get some games in. Sure. You know, if online's not working here, whatever, I'll go play elsewhere. And then the world changed. The world changed. <laughs> There's that meaty fireball. Oh, yep, right. I just... That's, I, that, I think that's literally unavoidable if you're in the corner. Cut as well. Wow. 
only way to escape that is a reverse DP or if you just throw first. It, that's yeah. it. It's the only thing you can do. So, like, okay. in, in, in ST, there's some situations like that, right? Where, like, the only way out of this, like, tough throw setup, like, Geef crouching jab into SPD is, like, a one-frame uppercut, right? Yeah, it's just a reversal uppercut, especially because, like, a character like Dalsum has a larger throw range than some characters. So he can literally tick throw you from a range where they can't even throw you back. Oh, wow. So the only way to escape is to deep, because even if you hold jump, you can get thrown out of your pre jump frames, unlike modern Street Fighters, where if yeah. you hold up, you cannot be thrown. This one, you can't even escape wow. by holding up. They were still figuring so. out all these systems. This is like 1994 <laughs> and before. Like, what? So, what are the yep. what are the rules? <laughs> the yeah, yeah. Stuff? Like, how do we even establish how throwing works, you know? Because there is no throw whiff animation in old Street Fighters. Yeah. You just... That didn't start until Street Fighter 3. This is this is why throws Alpha led 3. to real fights mm -hmm. in arcades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and some of yeah. the old arcades literally had throwbacks. If you threw, you had to let the other guy oh. throw you because it's it was gonna so get physical. cheap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. N mm -hmm. Not to mention an era as well where like for reversals to be reliable, you had to manually put the extra six chances by yeah. pianoing. Right, like every button down and button up is a chance at a proper reversal. Yeah. So you try to get I them all. I still enjoy playing ST just to, uh, and pianoing every single special move I got. <laughs> like, and just it's just muscle memory. I can't even stop my hands from doing it. I mean, it's it's a fun thing to it, but it's also just wild to think about. Like that's the only way back then. You know? Yeah, and I love describing to people that it's like. Like uh, you get really like hyper FGC bubble. I'm pianoing the input so all my negative edge. Negative comes edge. Out. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. What? Dude, like, what yeah. The other person just about? thinks that man. Like, Let's go ham. They think you're just making up words. Dude. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you just made that up. <laughs> Shout outs in Phil Glossary. You know. So I don't see what um, Arturo is running at. He most likely is running ST Dalsum, right? Go. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we just said how there might be some crazy SF2 version of Blanca that might be good. And, and yeah, JM Crofts is essentially running nice. Hyper Blanca. Hyper Fighting Blanca. Hyper Fighting Blanca. Hyper -fighting Blanca. Yeah, he was the best character in Hyper Fighting. One of the best characters. Hell He's yeah. So good. He never got that up ball again. <laughs> oh, he has up ball in this one? How crazy. Damn. So. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, didn't right. Hyper Hyper Fighting Blanca has the up ball that comes down and hits you on the way down? Yep. What? Well, I, I didn't see this. Back. With no bounce. Yep. He just goes up and straight down. And it's ambiguous <laughs> on which side it's going to land on, and you just have to like guess the right side, and then he's right next to you and for he's the next plus. mix. That, there it is. There that it is, baby. That is amazing. That's yeah. my boy. It active all the way down. All the way down. They never gave it back to him. block. Oh. Yep. <gasps> My boy, I miss him. <laughs> yeah, if you wanna, Ooh. if you wanna have Ooh, nightmare fighting Blanca, no. hyper fighting is the one to go. And and for anyone that's Damn, not familiar, good, yeah, JM Crofts has like a difficult road for rematch. this match because uh, Arturo NYC Furby is a oh, Dalsim yeah. master. Like he has been playing mm. ST and Dalsim in every single like practical Capcom fighting game since this time frame. Yeah, no, not to get lost in, in seeing my, 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 my boy Blanco up there, but switch. like Arturo is the sim. That's we'll the, see. you know, I, the he, staple. I just feel like he, he, he's too solid for Blanco. Let's go. I mean, unless Crofts has got the uh, negative edge safe jump yeah. OS. See, I'm doing the whole thing again. What am I talking uh, about? T Hawk <laughs> isn't that great of a character unless you really got the tech, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. The Dalsim. Let's go. He's got slow walk speed. His oh buttons aren't Does great. He... All right, maybe this was a Oy. mistake, guys. Still there. <laughs> this was a mistake. Oh, God. It's all still there. Let's go, man. And again, I know that Art's also, like, stress-tested his setup to minimize all hiccup possibilities, so... Jeez, yeah, this is the, Jeez, the you, you start you start walking and blocking and oh no, I'm getting slapped what? in the face by this dude's feet. Oh my god, that was free. That was free. Speed <laughs> or something like that is about. No, no, I think I think NYC Furby might have played that matchup a couple of times. Just maybe. Over the past like 20, 30 years or something. Yeah, and again, Super Turbo Dalsum 
is like I mean, people know how cheap claw you know vega is oh, super yeah. turbo and dalsam is right there like those two are the number one and two characters in the game so if you fight a dalsam that knows what they're doing it's a problem it's because vega problem. is like the big guest character right where he is mm -hmm. he is essentially going to like mix you el fuerte style yeah. and you're just going to have to guess on wake up mm -hmm. yep and and dalsam he has just every option, every anti-air, every counter in the book. You just have to know which counter you use at every single moment, like you saw against J.M. Crofts. Mm -hmm. He had the crouching strong to punish the jump, the standing medium kick to punish yep. the DP, and all this stuff. He just had everything, and it's going to be interesting because Silent Scope, Cammy can fight Dalsum, right? Yeah. But the thing about it is, Silent Scope fights against uh, Eugene, a lot who's one of the best awesome players in the u.s so he's gonna have experience in that fight and i think that's gonna be one of the crucial fights coming up but so he I, needs hey. to get past jimmy bones yeah and I know silent two, scope hates as, this match as we know at the moment uh silent scope jimmy and uh and arturo are all like st experts uh, right mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i i think jibbo is obviously obviously really good at the game too but these guys are like known for these games so this is going to be a big square off yeah, no, for the longest while, like, all, new games were all ignored, and Jimmy Bones just focused on ST. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I remember that era. Um, but, uh, James, you're saying that Cammy's, Cammy struggles here. Uh, yeah, most Cammies hate this fight, and you can kind of see why right mm. now. <laughs> Balrog is just, it's too fast. Ooh. But Silent Scope is, like I said, he's one of the best Cammies in the business. <gasps> Oh, oh my god. Chip. Oh, hey, perfect super time. on either end. Jeez, Silent Scope almost brought that one back in the last moments. Clutch super. Yeah, and actually at Combo Breaker just I mean sorry, at CEO just hey, recently man, Silent player? Scope went down to a boxer player in top oh 8. Oh my god. Okay. So time to redeem yourself. Hey. Cannon mm -hmm. spike. Yo. Nice. Ouch. Yeah, I'm like, it, it's going to be a super, right? One of them is going to hit super right here because they're God. practically safe. I don't think Cammy's is, though. No. Dude, James ouch. Bones. Let's go. Uh, yeah, and, and Jimmy, if Jimmy has that many years of experience on, on Balrog or Boxer, who is a really aggressive, really good character in this game, it's, it's going to be a tough wall delayed, to break through. <sighs> okay. In case, you know, people don't want to know why Boxer's so cheap, that low rush punch is like plus 10 or something, and it's a low, and it hits halfway across the screen. And even and if it whips, it recovers crazy fast, right? <laughs> yeah. And it might even teleport, depending on your connection. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, no. The specialists, you guys. Dude, he just does it. <laughs> he just yeah. does it. No, there, there, there's a, there's something to be said about, like, the players that are in the scene that are, like, new Street Fighters kind of come and go, and they're like, ah! I played it for a little bit, I messed around, I went back to ST. <laughs> you know, like... Yeah. And, uh... Jimmy knows how to play all of them, but definitely always went went back home. Damn, the footsie's here. Hey. No response oh because it's God, it is, is completely safe. See what button he pressed. Oh my God. Yeah, Cammy's got a fight. Okay. Man, that looks really frustrating. Oh, here walk comes under. The mix. Oh, oh no, walk wow. under. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to guess. He doesn't want to guess. Yeah, just DP out. Yeah, Silent Scope is 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 uh, is really putting up a fight here, considering how difficult this is for Dude, Cammy. I can't even tell if that hit or not. Like, give me a break. Nice neutral jump there, but. Hey, oh, hey, I thought hey, he would have hey, gotten hey, the grab oh there. Oh my god. Dude, I didn't get. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh okay. man. So this, like, uh, this box is going to be a problem. When you do get the boxer headbutt into the cross under, like, are you like just auto correct? Like, is there any not auto correct, but is there any way to like OS both directions to DP in that situation? Is well, there anything? The, the or nice, are you just committing? The nice thing about it is you can't be thrown as 
there's a big long window of throw invulnerability. So boxer, oh, I see what you're saying. Like if he tries to switch cross sides. under. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't think you, that there's a way to OS. Your heart committing. Directions. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you just have to commit or block. Because right? that's the same stuff Ken does when he does kick grab to you, right? Yeah. Like you just essentially mm-hmm. left like uh, unbeknownst. So you just gotta like, oh, he's gonna get whatever he wants done, or he's gonna do it again to me. Yeah. yeah, the modern day slide from down back to down forward yep. for, <laughs> is not a thing <laughs> back in this the, these days. No, no, mm-hmm, no, mm-hmm. no mashing of DPs in, in these games. <laughs> All right, 2-2. Two, two. So we got, um, I, I think we're going to have automatic, most likely using Hyper Fighting Ryu. I think you should right. stick with that. Mm-hmm. That's a good character pick. Uh, not to mention the fact that you can't soften throws anymore. And I think even in a situation where if he does come down to uh, uh, like a do or die moment and he has to fight against Boxer, that might be a very good matchup for Ryu just for the fact that you can cover that screen space with fireballs and you can't soften his throws. So that in, in this situation where if it's like he's, he's the Boxer's a little teleporty with some of his rush punches, that might be very beneficial. I mean, the hardest part right now is that Arturo is there, and uh, Arturo's yeah. Dalsim is mm-hmm. Dalsim yeah. is mm-hmm. historically a bad match for Ryu, <laughs> so uh, especially one of Arturo's level. Yeah. But uh, and the question it's gonna is, be a, it's going to be a, a tough road here for uh, for um, who, who's the Ryu player who is left again? I think it's automatic. Automatic. Mm-hmm. automatic that's what it mm-hmm. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, do you know if there's any other pocket characters that might uh, fare better against uh, Art that he might have? Like I said, Dalsum is one of the strongest characters. I mean, unless it's Champion Edition Bison, right? Like Champion Edition oh, Bison is the best huh? character in Hyper Street Fighter 2 because oh. Champion Edition Bison was just broken beyond all That's, reason. That, and that the, the, the most basic understanding of that strategy on my end is that you just Psycho Crusher Psycho throw, Crusher throw and then go to hell. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right, psycho has, pressure throw, and he and he also has re dizzy combo. So if he hits you with a scissor kick, he just says low strong stand forward stun slide forward low jab low jab stand jab scissor kick low strong stand forward and it stuns stun, again slide and then repeat. So yeah, that Oof. character is extremely busted. Yeah, uh, but I mean, yeah, I, I don't know if, if any of these walks, guys play him. The... Oh, he just oh, said he's, he's literally talking about it. Yeah, all right, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so that's uh, <laughs> that's that's being fed right there. All right. Oh, interesting. This the Tatsu on Ryu, and this one goes through Dalsum's fireball. I don't know if that's the case with Super Turbo Ryu. Yeah. This one. So he can make nice. it over, but in hyper fighting, the Tatsu is in vol on its way up. Gotcha. Yeah. That's that's that's. Yeah. This is like you gotta essentially hope that you fish like a light DP, because. Oh, oh, my, oh, Ooh, my from God. From behind. Oh, SF2, please. Oh, that oh, hitbox. Oh, Street Fighter 2. Oh, <laughs> Street Fighter 2. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. Taste okay. of the old boys. Some yep. Of that, some of that classic Alfredo right here. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> Sliding under the fireball is really good call from Art. Oh, God. Nice. Jump back. Mm-hmm. Oh god, the drill. Right over the fireball. Excellently uh, spaced. Yeah, this this is just looking like Furby's round. Yeah, slide answer Man. to those jump ins. Clean. So what was working out in the first round automatic? Let's make it happen again. Getting hit you behind have... the, the, the super. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reverse hitbox on the fire. Yeah. Let's try to do it again. Yeah. I think Ryu literally has zero Ooh. buttons in the air that can hit the slide. So the slide. Oh, is you mean it, it, it'll anti-air. it'll it'll low profile everything? Mm-hmm. Ryu wow. does not. Wow. Have a single button. That's crazy. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. This is. Wow. Wow. Uh, that's crazy. No wonder. Nothing. So they're just not active. Yeah, I think Bison's the best pick in this situation. Then, if 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 I mean, it's pretty clear that Arturo knows that he started sliding like crazy in round two and three, and all of a sudden, you know, automatic just could not get touched. So, I think in this situation, it's like what Turbo. Oh. Okay. Okay. Second with Rio. Okay. 
That's it, baby. Okay. Wow. Tight drill. It's all good. It's all Into good. Throw. And good DP. Like an there. Land, yeah. land yeah, another yeah. one of those and it will, will work Ooh. out. Her. Oh, that's a big throw. Oh, my oh. God. That really looked like it was about to be a throw. Yeah, what else? Wow, the fact that he can go under every button, huh? Yeah, that's, light DP yeah. is essentially like, yeah, it's almost like a prayer, right? You just have to hope that you throw out a limb oh, and you get you get an advantage to move in because you're just not going to get that otherwise. Drill goes over fireball. Can't jump in on him. There okay. we go. Okay. okay. There we go. Oh, bit. that should have stunned. Art, let's go. Lock it Art down. Art with a good punish. Nice. Yeah, the walking and blocking is about to get really difficult. That's probably safe DP there. Look for that jump. Oh. Oh, he, I felt the DP in my soul on that drill. <laughs> Here comes Super. Oh, God. I'm, Short I'm, drill man. bait. Uh, <laughs> Short drill That's bait the DP. Oh, good, good. Come on. <laughs> Oh. in Super Turbo has the well, best kicks in fighting game history. Let's I feel like get it. <laughs> oh man! So what? What happens now? It's a tiebreaker. It's two to two. That's two what, to two. We, does the chat choose or something? We're we gonna put it in the chat's hands. No. What happens? We're what bringing happens? it back, baby. I, I don't think know. We're gonna. Uh, is, I think we're gonna have to have a tiebreaker. Played by, you know, the captains oh, it cannot goes over just to sit us? idly by. The captains cannot sit idly by. It will be determined by Maximilian versus Wooly. Oh, no. Money's on the line. Like, even Gore's <laughs> on the line now. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, that's pretty dramatic, actually. So, that's so pretty we, sick. Okay. Let's, let's, just, let's just confirm, right? Okay, let's just confirm. Me and Wooly are going to have to square off now. We're going to go test stuff and get it working in, over the break. So we're going to be playing Cyberbots and the most competitive fighting game in this collection, Puzzle Fighter. Yes. <laughs> and then our, it, it, in, in the issue, in the state of a tiebreaker then, where, like, if I win one, and Will and Willie wins one, then we get a chat chosen third game. Is that the rules? Yes, a chat chosen third game from the four games that these uh, your teams have played. So they oh. have to vote between those four games. That okay, Willie? That, so our, our Night Warriors game is out of here, boy. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe chat likes Night Warriors. Yeah, we'll maybe have they'll to vote see. outside of the. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I they know like what it. The chat's gonna choose. Uh, it's gonna get a little crazy here. Oh yeah. boy! But again, Maximilian versus Wooly's team bringing it all the way it's, back. It's Big down 0 oh, 2, 2 to 2. Who is going to take it? It comes down All right, here we to go. the cat. This is now actually Maximilian versus Wooly. You guys have waited like four hours for this. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, guys, boy. do not go anywhere. Right after this break, we will crown this KO Series champion. <sighs> and it is down to Max and down to Wooly. We ended up with the first four rounds tied two and two, and now the tiebreaker, the captains themselves. Couldn't going into better. cyberbots first. How do you guys feel going into this, Max? I'm ready to cyberbotten. <laughs> what? That's what, that's what us OG cyberbots players say. Oh, okay. Right. You, you, right. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cyberbotten, 100%, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Le I mean, it's it's just it's the dramatic finish. It had to be this way, right? <laughs> it, the perfect buildup, totally unscripted. I'm genuinely <laughs> concerned. I'm genuinely concerned. Like, if if it ties one to one, what's going to happen? Like, what the chat is going to choose for us? Chat, I swear, <laughs> if you make us both pick Leo and Red Earth, I'm going to get you. I mean, just Dude, don't say that. You just encourage them to do it now. <laughs> get you. We'll Don't pick you. Vampire Hunter, whatever you do. You know? <laughs> uh, so yeah. I'm probably going to, like, because we're going to have all these... James is going to do a commentary during this, right? Yeah. And me and Wooly are most likely going to have to, like, mute everything to, like, focus. Because James is going to be like, Max is not doing this, you know? And I'm going to be like, oh, God, why <laughs> do I do that? <laughs> like, Look, to be fair, Cyberbots is definitely a game that is kind of a gap in my knowledge as well. So, you know, I, I, won't, I won't be too critical here. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I guess we're we're good to go. I'm gonna ready up. 
And uh, a, a production, I don't know if we're ready to do this, to settle the tiebreaker. Evo 2025 brought to you by and, the and, future. <laughs> and keep in mind, remember, uh, the rules for this one, I believe, is three out of five okay. for okay. Uh, this game here. All right. I'm muting everything up <sighs> now, man. I'm going in. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. There we go. Did you hear the sigh from Wooly there? He was just like, oh. <laughs> and again, each of these body types has multiple machines that can go with it. And oh, dang, look at this. Okay. I like that. Shout of Earth. Wooly is playing as Shout of Earth. But we are interesting. Maximin's going with basically the basic right here. This is Blodia with uh, Jin as the pilot. This is basically the, uh, the Ryu of the game got a dp and you know the way that this game works is that you have a weapon button and what's really cool is that every single uh different body type has a different ui and you see one bar is labeled w the other bar is labeled a and that's for weapon and arm uh, you can take damage during the game so uh, instead of a dizzy in this game if you take certain damage i, I forget exactly how it works i think if you shoot them with your weapon they take arm damage and they can lose their arm. And so, they're, like I said, I'm not super familiar with this game, but definitely uh, one of those rare gems of a fighting game. And, you know, again, one of these games that I just can't wait to sit down in training mode and, and mess with a little bit here. But uh, as we saw just now, Maximilian was able to take that first round. And here he goes, small combo, but nothing too much off of that. Really trying to launch a get off me attack and now has Maximilian trapped in the corner. Backs off, however, gives Max a little bit of breathing room. Oh, the super, but no, that's going to be a punish. Yeah, not enough to quite kill. Just jumping all over him. Freaking like spider. Oh my god, but Max gets the last combo here after the jump attack. Wooly did not block. Max gets the hit. Game number one to Max. And again, it is three out of five. Yeah, this is the game that Jin, this is where Jin comes from, if you guys are familiar with him in MVC2. You know, kind of like the Captain Falcon treatment of showing up in Smash Brothers, Jin showing up in MVC1 is, you know, similar, and MVC2, I should say, um, is kind of the same, um, same treatment, taking the pilot and they could fight. This is also the game that Devilot comes from as well, if you're familiar with her assist in MVC1 and uh, one of the, I think it's uh, Felicia, I'm not Felicia, I'm sorry, uh, Manat, who has a Devilot costume in Street Fighter V and the little orb she holds is actually the octopus mech that Devilot drives in this game. Yeah. So she's from this game as well. Oh, look at this, just needs one more hit. And he did switch to Vice, so he's switching to a different mech here. However, Maximilian obviously can't change with the missiles from downtown, taking round number one for Wooly. Of course, Devilot, and uh, I forgot what the pilot of the, the big helicopter uh, mech was named, but those are all boss characters, and then there's one final boss character. And there is a hidden Akuma in this game, like an Akuma mech. But I don't remember what the, uh, the the code is to pick that character. Maximilian. Oh, getting grabbed again. And yeah, just get... Dude, the disrespect. Throw him and then roll over him. Dude, Wooly seems like he has found a good character here. Zoning with the missiles. Grabbing with the arm. Oh, good block this time. Yeah, this time you can see he's blocking it, so... And now Max trying to stay in the air and being as aggressive as possible. Oh no, got grabbed again. Can he roll over him? No. Max with the quick rise to escape the OTG. I do believe there is chip damage in this game. So, ah, but I don't even know if he blocked. Dashed into the missile. Same way that Wooly won the last round by firing those missiles from downtown. And Wooly's going to tie it up one to one. And you can see serious face right now from both competitors. Dude, it is, uh, <laughs> there is a uh, no love lost here between them and again this is only game number one 
for to find out if it will be Team Maximilian or Team Wooly who actually takes this. Ah, okay, okay. So someone in the chat saying that Akuma's not in the arcade. Interesting. Okay. Oof. And here we go. Rolls over him again. And you can see the little symbols right there where it tells you to mash like that. You can see on the bottom of the screen, basically making you get up and roll a little bit faster so that they can't hit you off the ground like that. But here comes the throw. He's going to try to roll over. No escape. Not enough to kill. But again, missiles from downtown. You can see those missiles aren't doing chip. But this is all Wooly's willing to do. He can't throw them constantly because of that weapon gauge. That's part of the weapon. Max gets in, but the counter poke from Wooly is going to take round at number one. Wooly switching to Vice, and Vice is definitely doing the work for him now. Oh, look, dude, was that Max was like doing box jumping or something? The arm is gone, but he picked it back up. He picked it right back. Never mind. I was going to get all hype. I was like, oh my god, Wooly has to fight without the arm. Oh, he picked it up. Okay, never mind. Oh, but that wasn't fast enough. No counter. Dude, Max with these like Dante box jumps from uh, from MVC3. Okay, Maximilian tying it up. And again, this is three out of five. So this is the crucial rubber band magic. Oh, what? What? We've got spinning pile drivers? What? Dude, these two guys have definitely practiced. This, they definitely practice because they know so much about their characters. Four hit combo. Oh, not <gasps> rolled. Oh, yo, he blew up. He blew up. He needed the escape pod. Jin needed the escape pod, but Blodia is down, and Wooly is now up two to one over Maximilian. Again, this is the first game. Next game will be Puzzle Fighter. And, uh, Wait a minute. Is it, it's three out of five. So three we have one five. more, right? Yes, three out of five. Okay, okay. I'm, coming, five. I'm coming back to chime in. I'll be right back. All right, okay. all right, all right. All right, so Vice here, the grappler of uh, Cyberbots. I think I know who I'm going to play then. <laughs> Hashtag justice for grapplers. All right, so uh, they have switched sides now. Maximilian is on the right, and uh, now Wooly is on the left. But Wooly is indeed up 2-1 over Maximilian. Okay, nice block and punish with the throw. And that was pretty decent damage for that throw as well. But now back to the missiles, and yeah, you can see the tracking capability, but you see every time he fires it, his uh, weapon gauge drains right away. It builds up pretty quickly, so we can keep doing it. Nice. What? He just did it back to back? He didn't care. He, Max wasn't even on the ground anymore. He just rolled over him. He just needs one more hit. There it is. And Wooly is at match point. Okay. Dude, OTG throws in this game. <laughs> Some people in the chat are saying. Uh oh, here we go. The grab again. Gonna try to roll over him. Yep, no quick rise from Max. So he's just gonna get rolled over here. A little bit of extra damage. So seems like the Oki game in this game is actually pretty deep, but it is working out for Wooly. He just needs one more hit now. There it is. The missiles to the face. The mech is gone. Oh, and good Wooly. Game. Ah, GG. Oh, GG. <laughs> I got grabbed out of everything, man. Okay, okay. Oh. Grab. All Dude. right, I, we. I'm gonna keep comms on for for Puzzle Fighter. So now we need to. We're gonna need to get a new lobby, right? Yeah. Okay. Wooly, there. Definitely. Ooh. You've been practicing oh. Cyberbots, huh? You even got like the what, like a 720 or something. I learned. Dude. I learned one thing. I learned one or two. I learned two <laughs> things. The first one didn't work, but we got that. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Nice, no, that's nice. uh Vice is, is sick. He's got a really cool air grab and ground grab setup that uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I was hoping that uh, I was hoping that Blodia's like eight way air dash was going to help me out a little bit. So I'd be able to get some Magneto rush down. I just yoink. I got yoinked. I got yoinked. I was like, dude, OK, so it's an anti air grab as well. OK, right, I cool. was guessing that you were going to go Blodia as the Ken of the game. You know, big sure you can. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good prediction from Wooly, but again, that's only just 1-0 now. It comes down to Puzzle Fighter here. If Max can win this one, 
He ties it up 1-1, one, one, and then the chat will vote for the final game. But oh uh, if Wooly can take this one, then it is over, and Team Wooly is the victor. Okay. But Justin was hyping you up, Max. How much of uh, how much of your? I mean, <laughs> does does JJ play a lot of uh, Puzzle Fighter? Yes. <laughs> Aha! The secret I, I have weapon. seen many things over the years, and I have tried to engage some stuff over the past few days. So there's been a lot of Puzzle Fighter in my life for a long time, even though, you know, I had to get familiar with a little bit of it. I can, <laughs> I can firsthand confirm that uh, JJ is a puzzle beast, as I'm a huge fan of Tetris, and we've had some great matches. But Tetris is not this. This is a different mm, game entirely. Fair. So. We're gonna have and, to learn. And, and I'll body all of you in Tetris. But that's a whole nother story. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't you get started. <laughs> We're puzzle fighting uh, right now. You know what's crazy uh, is that over the past few days, I was like watching some of the OGs playing, you know, uh, the fighting collection. And yeah. the weirdly enough, the, the person that I was assuming would be playing this was playing the game that I wasn't assuming he would be really good at. And he ended up being like number one on PS4 for a while. Alex Valle is like a hella good puzzle fighter player. Mm. Mm. I just been definitely... watching him play. I'm like, damn, okay, wow, okay. Back in the day, he definitely had a very serious puzzle fighter training partner. So I remember he was super good at the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got to play something totally. between those uh, those fighting game sets, you know? Like, that was me it, playing MVC1, waiting to play, and then Dude. playing, like, you know, House of the Dead. Uh, I mean, all right. Honestly, I mean, like... I'm okay. sure you guys can talk about this forever, but that's what the arcade days were like. When yeah. you put your quarter up and waited, that's your how side you game. played all the other games. Yeah. Yep. Okay, but here all we right. go. Puzzle. So I'm assuming you guys will be able to speak during most of this. Are you guys muting your comms or how's this uh, working? I'm just, I'm just, we're just going to speaketh and let it be known. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm just going to keep my comms on. All right. Yeah, sure. Three. Keep it on three. I guess so. Yep. Yep. All you're going to hear is just self-disparaging comments from my end, so... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely see someone calling Wooly a puzzle lord in the chat, so... You know, let me see if that comes all to right. fruition. We're going all in. Nope, they're in, they're, they're in hardcore mode right now. They're not talking, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Sorry. Ain't no comms I'm now, gonna... boys. It's serious time here. So, Max, you can see right now, trying to set up the yellow gems on the side. And uh, so one of the things that's important to note, you'll see that the, the little gap on the top of the screen where the gems come in, that's the only column that can kill you. If you play around that column, and even if the, your stack scrolls past the screen, you will not die as long as column four is empty. So what you'll see a lot of times, people will be intentionally playing with this big gap uh, with and leaving column number four open to survive as long as possible. But with a tr three chain from Max, Wooly looks like he is in some serious trouble right now. He's trying to break through those timer gems. Those are the junk that you send over to the opponent. Wooly's trying to break through, but you can see how the green gems are causing this staggered checkerboard on Wooly's side. That's going to make it very hard for him to clear through this unless he can get a diamond. The diamond comes every... 50 pieces, I want to say. There's 25. a certain number. 25. There you go. 25. Thank you. And uh, so I think Wooly's going to need a diamond coming pretty soon to, to help him because Max's stage right now looking very, very clean. Oh, here it is. Oh, the diamond trick. Ugh. But Max knows it as well. Diamond tricks right back. 31 coming into the screen. And that's always the dangerous thing, right? If you send a lot of gems to your opponent, but they're not in a situation where you're going to kill them, you can oftentimes send them stuff to kill you, especially with the diamond trick, because both players get the same pieces. <laughs> If you do the diamond trick and you do not kill your opponent and you're the one to do the diamond trick first, you know the opponent's got a diamond coming right back at 
you. So it's kind of a a, 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 a tricky situation in that in that not case, that you know. God, not that one. Uh oh, oh, oh. a little bit of frustration. <laughs> oh, right. I'm all whispering that like he's not just directly in my ear, you know. Yeah, mistakes are being made. It's okay. All right. Um. Again, as, this will be back to two out of three. So this is back to two out of three, but as you can see at the bottom there, there is still the round countdown there. Okay, I, I like what Wooly's got set up here. He's gonna be able to break a lot of these red gems over there on the side, but here comes a bunch of stuff from Max. And so now Wooly has to figure out how to wait, a way to break through this. He's counting on the yellow chain right there. Oh, nice. Combos the blue as well. Erases the stuff that Max is going to send him. And now, Wooly's kind of set up for something pretty decent here. There it goes. Ooh. But again, as long as Max is column... Oh, let's go, let's go. Okay. Four. Well, never mind. It filled up. Final round here in game number one. Yeah, again, this game... A lot of the strategy of this game is not necessarily just building your 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 stage. One, you want to know what the opponent sends to you. And once you set up combos, you also kind of want to maybe send over small things to pester them a little bit. But you generally kind of want to save the big stuff until you know you can kill them. Because if you create a big chain and it doesn't kill them, and you have nothing left on your board to finish the job, it's very easy for opponents to make the comeback necessary to blow you up. And that's one of the trickiest things about Puzzle Fighter is knowing how to, when to a strike and when to wait, basically. Alright, here it comes. Okay. Couldn't do the diamond trick, did not have it set up. So the, if you do not do the diamond glitch, your damage is halved. I, I could have done it on red, but trick, it was a botch. Alright. Okay. So Max. Oh, that was nice. Has he got his diamond yet? Oh, that is perfect. That blue is going to save him. There we go. Okay. And again, this is what I mean. If you do not have the ability to finish someone off, despite the fact that Max's board is in a, a dire situation, it's not... You can see Wooly has not been able to, 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 to capitalize on it. Oh, there's the diamond tree. That is a bad Ooh. sign for Ooh. Wooly. And there it is. Max taking game so, at number one. I messed up my diamond. I picked the wrong color. It should have been red. Okay. Okay. That's... Oh. Oh, first to three. Okay, so the, the thing's already set to go. All right, all right, all right. First to two. First to two. First to, first two. to, first two? to two. Oh, God. First to two. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. I can't change. All right, so we'll just have to stop midway. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. Max up one to zero over Wooly. If Max wins this, we do go to a third tie breaking game. And again, every time you do a chain, it does increase the damage that you send on the next pieces. And that's why even if you have a big chain to break, sometimes you want to set up even just the smallest setup above it to trigger a chain into the big uh, gem, gem shattering. Even that little bit can make a big difference in how much you actually send at the opponent. Okay, here we go. First diamond to Maximilian. But, again, oh, oh I'm really playing a little slow, so he's going to get sent a bunch of stuff here. Is he going to try to set up a diamond? Oh, oh, 35. This, he's he's going to be okay thanks to this. Because he's going to send a bunch of stuff to Max now. And now Max has to do a little bit of cleanup. And if Wooly can survive this. There we go. Oh, yes. Good situation for Wooly now. So you can see right here, Max having to do a little bit of fighting back himself. He's really just kind of trying to clean up his stack as much as possible. Sets up the red chain over there. So I'm going to send some pieces over. 
But if you do not send a lot with Ken at once, that can be a weakness of Ken. Ken is clearly the best character in this game. Like, nobody will argue that. Like, he is the best character in the game. And one of the things that you do uh, that is dangerous with Ken, though, is if you don't send a lot, then you're only sending red. And so the opponent wants to play... Oh, no! Uh. A surprise attack from Max! Yes, the character ma matters a lot. In fact, like I was saying, Ken, clearly the strongest character in the game because the pattern that he sends is a horizontal pattern. So if your screen is not flat, the pieces that drop, the, the, the timer gems that drop get staggered and he creates the least amount of blocks. Characters like Felicia, who drop giant blue chunks on the left, are really easy to play and counter against. And her stuff sending to you ends up becoming a weapon to destroy her. And so Ken, because of the way that his pattern works, is one of the strongest. Ryu, because his pattern are all verticals, is one of the weakest characters in this game. Oh boy, here we go, a lot of stuff coming. Oh, can Max finish this off though? Oh boy. Okay, green. He's gonna be able to stave off some damage here. Oh, and Matt and Wooly actually came on top of that. But here comes a big chunk from Max. Can he? Oh no! Wooly couldn't get that piece down in time. Oh, he needs to get down there. Oh, okay. The green. Oh, and he's got the red coming. He's gonna be able to break. And here it goes. Yeah! Pieces. Let's go, baby. Ah, <laughs> oh, so close. It ain't over till it's oh, over. Man. This game goes both yep. ways so quickly. That's how this game is. It's just, it's so easy for a comebacks to happen like that. And that's why you have to be so cognizant and look over at your opponent's screen to see what state they're in, to know if you can finish them off or not. It's such a valuable thing to, to do. And again, Ken, if, if you want to fight Ken, you set up for red. You set up your board. You, If you're going to shatter stuff, shatter small blues, shatter small yellows, shatter small greens. But save as much red as you can because if the Ken player sends small stuff at you, if he cannot send more gems than the first row, he's only sending red at you. And that is the weakness that Ken possesses. Uh, but at the highest level, that weakness is not vital enough to basically hurt Ken to the point where he's not just the top character. Mm -hmm. And again, this is game number two. If Max wins this one, God. Then we go to the third game, but if Wooly wins this one, we have one more set of Puzzle Fighter to go. Okay, here we go. Max is kind of in a dangerous situation here. At this point in time, Max might even be benefited by playing as fast as possible to get to the next diamond. Because the next diamond should be coming fairly soon, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, breaking all those yellows is going to be nice over there on the side. He's got the green. He should be able to break some pieces there, yes. And stave off that stuff that Wooly sent him. Wooly kind of in a precarious situation, but if he can get that, if he can get to that green, if he can get to that green, oh, he's got the diamond. If he diamond tricks on that, it's over. Yeah. Yes, there it is. Wooly ties it up one to one. <sighs> I got my audio back finally. <laughs> audio cut out. Okay, okay. here we go. Okay. All right. Game number three. Is Team Wooly going to take tournament it? Tournament point? Or is, is this tur well, tournament point, tournament game for Wooly, and then a tie game potentially for Maximilian. Game number three. And again, appreciate the fact that we've got the scan line versions uh, filter here for you guys. I mean, honestly, some of the sprite work that was created for a lot of these games was designed with the scan lines in mind. And so a lot of the times, these sprites actually look better with the scan lines on. 
Uh, obviously, for streaming purposes, it doesn't necessarily make it as clean because of the scaling and the stretching and stuff like that uh, to to fill out the screen. But in general, when you play it on your own monitor at home and you're just watching for yourself, I actually do recommend people try to keep the scan lines on. Uh, and it is by default, I think, number four filter set up. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, that is going to be ginormous. Okay, okay. Danger, danger. Oh, no. Uh, and Maximilian. <laughs> Tie point. Bot. Tie point. Here we go. And again, as you can see, both players do receive the exact same pieces. And so there is a little bit of strategy as well. Sometimes when you're building your stack, if you know you're behind the opponent, you can kind of look at what the pieces your opponent is getting and get a slight preview. There is definitely, I've seen players kind of use a little bit of that strategy there. Okay, Max chooses to go for an early break here. So he's trying to uh, shake up Wooly's screen right now. Maybe cause him a little uh, concern here. Here comes another chunk. But again, now Max doesn't have what he needs to finish him off and he's not even going to be able to do oh i think he can do the reverse diamond trick but that's not going to send a lot from the blue and that means that woolies diamond should be coming up soon as well oh he needs that diamond oh, there it is. and this is going to hurt oh! Can Max stay alive? The green is... Oh, oh, he got stuff at the bottom. That's huge. Look at that. Coming right through there. Okay. Going to set the green out. He's got the blue to break down on column number four. Oh, okay. Decides to break the red on the side here. And he's digging down. That's going to lead to a three hit. A two hit chain, actually. And that is a bunch set over to Wooly. Wooly now needs to find a way out of this. He can stay alive. Like I said, column four. It's all about column four. No, that's not going to be able to break in time. And Maximilian is going to tie it up one to one. And we are going down to the final game, which will be voted on. Scripted. By the players. Scripted. <laughs> Scripted. Oh my god, uh, chat, jeez. Uh, <sighs> if you guys want to vote, obviously a bunch of you guys are watching on Maximilian's channel and Wooly's channel right now. Mm. The poll is going to be set up on twitch.tv slash twitch rivals. <laughs> Go to twitch no rivals, underscore chat. Nothing. Oh Decide the destiny. Oh my god. <laughs> Decide the destiny. The fate, uh, the wheel of fate is turning. <laughs> oh boy! We're gonna set the coming down to the final game. Is we chat, don't know what it is. Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Puzzle Fighter again? Is Chat gonna make us play Street Fighter Two? Is right. Chat gonna make uh, us play? It looks like. So it looks like Vampire Savior, Gem Fighter, Red Earth, and Hyper Street Fighter Two are the okay. only possible votes. It's the ones that was a part of the main games. Yes, and from Kay. what I'm seeing, I think your Night Warriors practice might not be completely, completely useless. <laughs> Judging by this results, because one of the games is running away with it right now. Soft results coming in. Oh, boy. <sighs> oh, boy. Is it Vampire Savior? I wouldn't be surprised if it's Dark Soccer's 3. It looks like I it's would. I would be. love it to be Street Fighter 2. I would really love it, but, you know... It's up to the chat. <laughs> it's up to the chat. <laughs> uh, little, Meanwhile, yeah, he's typing in that. his chat yeah. window. I hear vote that. for Street Fighter vote for 2. Street Fighter 2. <laughs> hey, man. I mean, look, I, you know, I'm Street prepped Fighter for... 2 is the best game to end it on. Come oh, on. look. Hyper I'm... Street Fighter 2's numbers are going up. Oh, I wonder how I'm, that I'm is prepped, happening. I'm prepped for some Night Warriors. I'm prepped for, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, if people want meme <laughs> Red Earth battles. With... No. <laughs> no. Meme Red Earth. Let's, let's, play, let's finish this with, like, the proper, like, the classic Street Fighter 2. Come on. <laughs> Hell yeah. What are we? What are we? What are we doing? Look, Vampire what Savior are we doing? is the most is it beautiful rigged? game. We want to see some more Vampire Savior, right, chat? That's what yeah. we want to see. Is that see, the right? way we're going? I'm going to the Twitch Rivals page. Let me see what's going on. I need to vote myself. 
<laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. Where's that Paul? The VSAV is, uh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's one, oh, you know, man. that's a decent VSAV choice. Is, VSAV is winning by a lot. Yeah. 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 I mean, look, Certainly Hyper Street is. Fighter 2 was actually tied with the other two games until an influencer said something at one point in time. And then it jumped up. So, I mean, honestly, the influencer definitely affected the vote a little bit. Because Come on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. You have a little bit of time left. Just go over to So which which link. version is going? Which version is going? It's Vampire Savior. Okay, I specifically. Mean, all, right, all right. How much it time do we have? Savior. Uh, I'm waiting for production to see if we have a timer on this hey, or when we're going like to call it. It's like five seconds left. That works for me, oh, man. A That's timer. five seconds, chat. Well, I'm I'm down. That works. That dude, can go. Dude, VSAV it's, is a game that is played. That is a oh game. It is played. Dude, Hyper Street Fighter <laughs> 2. That is played. Dude, Street Fighter 2. Hyper Street Fighter 2 is only down by 10% now. Ooh. And time we swimming? is up. Are we swimming? We're, ah, we're, we're, could not catch we're going up. To the land of vampires. Okay. Forty-two percent to vampire, vampire savior. savior. It is. We'll get the game fired up. Jeez. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hi. This is a wonderful emotional roller coaster we got going on today, right? Oh yeah, boy. Yeah, Max and oh Willie boy. like this is not what we signed up for. It wasn't. <laughs> it, 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 it legitimately <laughs> wasn't. It, <laughs> it legitimately changed the moment we sat down and they we unveiled it. We trained the other Darkstalkers game. Like we mm -hmm. literally trained Night Warriors. <laughs> Mike, the characters <laughs> change from charge to motion and back. It's a completely oh, different man. thing. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, the, uh, but see now, here's the question, right? Obviously, there's no Donovan. In this no, game, done. so not in this game. Who, 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 I'm curious, who are you gonna go with, Max? I'm curious who too. Oh, it's a very <laughs> wonderful mystery. <laughs> wonderful mystery. I mean, <sighs> nothing, nothing is set in stone in terms of. Uh, we're gonna I'm, we're gonna be hovering that character select for a while and just okay. see like who picks who. Yeah. Oh man! All right. So, I mean. It, uh, I believe you. I think they're trying to set up the lobby for yeah, you guys we're getting now. Yeah, the lobby set up, then. chat. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I mean, look, hey, at the very least, this is the hypest way it could go in terms gotta... of, like, the back and forth into, like, a final moment, final oh, yeah. game. We actually got to the final game. That's pretty I gotta sick. make sure my buttons are right in Vampire Savior, because <laughs> do True. that. Make sure True. your buttons are right. Make sure you turn the one-button supers off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, this is great. This is great. <sighs> All right, so, again... Ha, ha, oh, 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 there it is. There it is. There it is. Hey, we're getting in here, chat. One second. How are you right, feeling yo. going into this, Wooly? How are you feeling yo, going into yo, this? Yo, team, team, I'm trying to get you paid. What's up? What's up? All right. And Max, how are you feeling about this? Uh, okay. I feel pretty good. Right? <laughs> I feel pretty good. <laughs> feeling fantastic. As, as good as could possibly be. Uh, <sighs> All right, so here we go. Uh, it is going to be Vampire Savior, the game that we started off the day with. Again, to me, honestly, the Darkstalker series might be my favorite fighting game series of all time, just because of how beautiful and just how perfect of a mix between art and music and lore and fighting style and everything. It's might be, to me, one of the most perfect fighting games that I don't know if it could ever be replicated ever again but if you guys do pick up Capcom fighting collection and do want to get into Darkstalkers Vampire Savior is the one that is most competitive right now and has a very competitive scene now again the game is brutal so if you get into it it's going to be a hard one to learn but the community out there wonderful community always looking for new vampire savior players to bring into the fold and honestly you know when i look at that community there's a lot of young faces in that community that continue to uh you know grow that scene so definitely check it out but um you know a lot of high level vampire savior play out there uh, we won't be seeing any of that, though, with Max versus Wooly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, hey, keep it real. Pfeiffer. Keep it real. Okay. All best right, of five, best so first to three. Here we go. First to three, first to three. yeah. Is it, is, no, again. Uh, are we set up first to three? We are. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, and again, Max and Wooly, two long time, of course, fighting game veterans. They'll do just fine. I'm gonna go mute me, myself so. really quick. I'm sorry, I'm gonna mute all of this because I can't have James commentating my own match in my ear. I can't do it. All right, I'm turning it all off. Here we go. All right, here we go. I hear the character select screen. And now the first big mystery. Who does Max go with? We know Wooly's gonna go with Fish. Max goes with the John Tal Bane. Let's go. Dog versus Fish. Here we go. And there's that poison to start off and just goes for the sweep, okay? So obviously a high level requel play, dashing medium punch into Lynx after that. But here comes Maximilian, gets the pursuit, trying to keep Wooly in the corner. But again, the sonic waves now coming into play. And Maximilian playing uh, very throw heavy on the defense there, blocking a lot of jump attacks. But here comes the bubble. Max does make it over. Wooly not going up into the air to uh, challenge that. Max wakes up with the flash kick, tries to get the pressure in the corner, but the stabbing heavy punch gonna knock down. Oh, the poison again. And yeah, just wasn't in time to get the combo, but instead just walks up for the throw, the poison right here. Wooly looking very strong, gets the poison again a little too slow. You don't get gassed for very long. A little too slow from Max for the punish right there. And we, we see what Wooly's trying to do. Just playing back and playing very defensive. And there we go, the jumping heavy kick, kind of like a dulcim drill. But here comes Max, gets the chain combo. Oh, too, too, too far. He let the geyser go a little too far. And trying to now find the strategy of Justin Wong. Throw out as many dragon fire dragons as possible. But here's the dark force, the armor, and he's going for the pressure. But that, yep, that's delay right there. So Max was able to punish that a little bit, but misses the jump attack and got thrown. Here we go, the gas. Oh, nice. That wasn't a true combo. It's not going to kill just enough. Dude, it's coming down to the wire here. It went full screen. Max didn't think it was going to go full screen. Here we go. Pinball, but not all the hits. That's punishable. Did not hit the button fast enough. Max gets to the other side, finds the hit on the side switch. Maximilian making the comeback here, going one to zero over Wooly with the towel bane. I can't hear anything. Max. I'm just letting you guys know. You can, I can't hear anything. <laughs> Officially I'm with the match. lead here. And Wooly shaking his head. He's not going to let this go down like this. Go. Gallon and Allbath, a.k.a. Talbane and Rikuo. Rikuo uh, named after, I think it's like the special effects artist from Creature of the Black Lagoon named Rico Browning. Uh, so in America, they changed his name to, to honor that uh, person. And again, all these characters based off of uh, movie monsters here, but in the most creative way possible. And now Max is going absolutely insane. He is trying to win this for his team. There we go, only two hits. But nice dashing sweep right there from Willie. Sets up the bubble, but gets hit beforehand. And now here comes Wooly. He still needs to drain the first bat off of Max. But Max with the multiple jump attacks. Talbane with the fastest jump of the game gets caught by the bubble. But only goes for the dashing heavy punch, not the gas. That's what you usually go for after the bubble. You gas them up. Here we go, the throw. He wants to jump. Wooly wants to get back there to build up a bunch of that gray life. Not going to happen. Maximilian takes it 2-0 without losing a single bat here. And now Maximilian is at exhibition game here. If he can take this last one, he wins it for his team. And Wooly looking deep within his own soul right now to figure out how to get this comeback. Mm. Ah, thank you for the lore. John Talbane's name comes from John Talbot from the original movie. And here we go. Nice air to air from Max. Very similar to the Castlevania 1 ending where they say that the monsters are played by, you know, and then they put these names there, all named after the famous actors who played the movie monsters as well. Seems like in Japan there's a lot of respect for the uh, the old, you know, movie monster uh, franchise, although 
uh, I did hear that it was Capcom of USA that came up with the idea for movie monsters, but then Capcom of Japan is the one that took it to this level with the craziest mummies and creatures from the Black Lagoon and, and nunchuck wielding Talbanes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Look at this, Wooly looking strong here. Uh oh. Oh no! And that was supposed to be a pursuit, not a flash kick. You can actually pursue with any button. So with uh, a lot of times when you play John Talbain, you want to try to pursue with the punches so you don't come out with that by accident. I think that was supposed to be a fire dragon, but the crouching heavy punch is going to work as an anti-air. Max is at exhibition bat. He just needs to drain this last bat. And actually, no, Wooly now has one bat as well. But Maximilian with the lead. The Pursuit, gonna find his mark, but Pursuit only does the white damage. Nice air throw by Max. What the heck? He jumped forward and kinda did like this weird cross up that wasn't a cross up. And now Max, oh, but watch out. He still takes damage. Requel still takes damage while he's in here. He just has super armor. There's the delay. Slightly punished by Max, but not enough. Gets over the geyser. Max now trying to finish this off. He just needs to drain a little bit of more health. There it is. Nice. Is the pursuit going to do it? Not enough. Oh, the anti-air did not work. Here we go. Dashing heavy punch into throw. Yo, he's going CE Bison tactics here. Ah, and then he shimmies it with the heavy kick. And Wooly with the comeback. <laughs> Taking it one to two. It is not over yet. And Max nodding his head like, okay, I see you. I see you, Wooly. I see you. I think if Wooly can make this comeback from being down 0 to 2, we're gonna have to call him Scaly from now on because of the performance of the the, the fish here. Terrible. Fetus of God! <laughs> no! Again, not a tournament legal stage only because it is wider than all the other stages in the game. However, this is Twitch Rivals. This is an exhibition, fetus of God. Let's go creepy, weird, brain exposed baby with an eyeball on its foot. Let's go. <laughs> oh man. And here we go, Wooly trying to get this pressure in the corner, but nice back throw from Max. Has the corner again, misses the pursuit because he came out with a flash kick instead. Oh, the dashing overhead. Nice to go and uh, basically jump over the low. Got caught by the bubble. And that's the first bat for Wooly now. We're tied one bat each at this point, but Maximilian with a slight life lead. Trying to find his way in, gets the throw. Nice anti-air heavy punch from Wooly. Okay. Oh dang, I, I just saw the baby's eyes open and it completely distracted me. I was like, <laughs> oh, fire, but not in time. Armor, but you see, like I said, he's eating all that damage anyway. And now here comes the recovery. He's gonna have delay there. Oh, nice, attacking on the way down. So he's gonna be okay. And now, Oh my gosh, Wooly was trying to make the comeback. The waves, but he got hit, so the waves are nullified. Maximilian now. Oh, oh, oh. Gets away from the pursuit. Down to no life. Both of them so close. He's got it. The jump in from Maximilian over the sweep. And Maximilian has won it for Team Maximilian. They are your champions for the KO series, Twitch Rivals. Mm. Maximilian oh. takes it in game number four. <laughs> I'm sorry, in set number four of the third game, uh. these two players having a lot more stress than they intended for uh. today. But honestly, great job to both players. Uh. Excellent stuff. Great, uh, great games, entertainment Wally. for everyone. GG's you. Jeez, GG's dude, this you. was... Well, I mean, what what the most appropriate way for us to toss this into the game that I'm like, all right, time for me to pull up the move list. <laughs> Let's just see what we're dealing with over here, man, because but, we were we were not training this Dark Soccer's game, well, dude. But that just shows you that just exposes the lack of fundamentals I got on deck. So you oh, know, oh man, <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I'll bat this hitting you with all that stuff Wooly was telling me about. Oh good, <laughs> and like yeah, no no the uh, the uh, uh, 
the, 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 it could have gone either way. I imagine the uh, I imagine the Street Fighter match would have been just Ken Blanca. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just a bunch I, of I, I definitely might have picked uh, Hyper Ryu. Okay, like that, okay. That guy's got some cheap stuff in that game, dude. <sighs> wow. Oh, man. Okay. But congratulations. Good job to Team Max. I mean, honestly, just like through this event here, how, how are you guys feeling right now? I mean, Wooly, like, obviously... I'm sure you wanted the win here, but overall, though, uh, you know, how do you felt like this I, event went for you? I let the team down a little bit, you know. I mean, they really they they brought it back. The momentum was tough at the beginning. They came back with the last two games. We turned it around. It went all the way to the third game. I was feeling it, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I, I'm sorry to the team. I'm sorry I let you guys down on that. That being said. I'm also really hyped that it went right to the final on that. Dude, That's we super went cool. All the way. <laughs> as far as like final, like final grand finals match, mystery games, it was really crazy. Yeah, yeah. And what about you, Max? How, how do you feel about the whole entire experience? I, I feel glad that we just get to be a part of this. You know, me and Wooly got to do what we wanted to do the most with this event. And it was very cool that Capcom and Twitch Rivals was cool with us essentially just gushing, right? Like just us getting to <laughs> gush about old school Capcom fighting games, which is the stuff that a lot of us, and including you, James, we grew up on, right? This is oh, what yeah. the, the wonderful thing about this collection is that it's sticking together all these titles that a lot of people, you know, have been waiting for and have also just not been around in many ways. Yeah. And now you get to play them online with good lobbies, and there's a lot of love and care put into this collection, which is great. It's something that we've been really, really looking for from like Capcom fighting games for a long time, and it's definitely seeming to be the case as of right now. I do have to say uh, that whatever uh, I think, I don't know if there's actual winnings, right? I keep forgetting that if we're playing for tournaments that money's involved, but if it is, I will gladly donate my winnings to the couple of folks in production that had their vehicles broken into. Yeah. So I'm going yeah. to do that on my end. Uh, if whatever whatever might be coming my way, if it isn't, I'll just pitch in. Uh, yeah, some some of the guys that put this show on had 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 stuff go very south on them uh, as we were mm -hmm. putting it together, and their cars mm -hmm. got either stolen or broken into. So I'm going to put whatever was going my way towards them. To shout outs, Matt. Absolutely. I mean, what, what? And, and, and I expect, I can, yeah, I can that's expect, cool. okay. <laughs> but I, I, I concur really with that. Just be like, that's great, Max. I'm keeping my money. No, no, no <laughs> I, I, I super, I super concur with that as well. I'm not going to speak for my team, but I'm speak for myself. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm just pitching it out there. I, I have no obligation to anybody else to do the same, but. Yeah, big shout outs to everyone that joined my team. I, I mean, everybody that was here through Wooly's team and my team, like I got to give huge thanks to because these guys are retro fighting game players yeah. at heart. They grew up with the same stuff we did. They love to stream it and please check out their streams. Yeah, no, that's yeah, it, man. I, oh, no, go I, ahead. Go ahead. I, oh, no, I was going to say just like uh, I, not even knowing about that like financial aspect just like max well you know this whole thing was was pitched and it was just like yo do you want to talk about old capcom fighting games and it's like yes more yes. than anything in the world <laughs> yes. we never get to do this you know and teach a few people about like yeah the the the, the wild west the good old days of you know warzard and i i get to talk about warzard tech on right. stream yeah. to so many people that's super and it's cool relevant. it's actually like necessary you have to it's just it's your employment job as of right now to i'll talk never about get warzard to do tech. that again it's awesome. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled for that. You well, know? That's when what I'm the here Warzard for. scene blows up, you will be on the call for commentary, Wooly. That Yay. <laughs> when Twitch Rivals KO series brings back, you know, the Red Warzard Earth. tech. <laughs> Red Earth is back. <laughs> I think it would be a great time to say uh, thank you so much, James, as well, for being with us on this and, like, you know, the keeping us keeping us here, the commentary, bringing in the OG knowledge, everything we needed for this era, as well. Um, thank you so much for being here with us. Much appreciated. Right. Thank you guys for having me here again. You get me talking about old games, I will talk forever. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, just like I know something... you both have. Yeah, you both have done on your own streams, right? Exactly. So. And that's something that, like, if we ever get any official capacity in the future to work with Twitch Rivals, uh, similar to I've had the opportunity in the past, it's stuff yeah. like that. Like, I want to get some of the OG heads that represent that era of the fighting game community, the era of those games, to essentially gush, right? Make it a that's big it. celebration mm -hmm. of what they love about these games. Yes. 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 Fighting games are something so great. You know? <laughs> yeah. Just don't, that don't energy, don't man. Really, don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta get out of here. James is gonna tear up. It's time to go. 
<laughs> no, thank you guys, everybody at home. Thank you, Twitch rivals. Thank you Thanks, guys. to everybody on thank the production you. side of everything. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we will see you next time here on the KO series presented by Twitch rivals. Have a good night and peace.